Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, except for tonight, which we're playing old Atari games. Yay! Back in 1982 now. 82. We've made it to 82 now. Part one of 1982. There's a lot. There's over 100 in 1982. That's a lot of games. Is that the pinnacle? <sighs> No, 1983 is the pinnacle. Really? I believe. Oh yeah. my gosh, we're going to be spending a lot of time on those two years. There. Yes, a lot. Um, there's a lot of good games yeah. in 1982, and it starts the shovelware starts. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a whole bunch of new companies that have discovered how to make Atari games. Mm. Um, so is that kind it's going like to be a mix. Crypto companies. That's right. It's like there's Cashing names in. of crypto that are all pyramid schemes. That's right. And, Except no you can actually play of. these games That's instead true. of just looking at money. looking at some <laughs> terrible piece of artwork. Or, or yeah, <laughs> you lose a tiny NFTs, bit of money on a game. NFTs, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway. So welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to be playing some old games tonight from 1982. Uh, they're all on this list, and yep. we'll be going through them. You can see them uh, stacked up on the cat cam. Mm -hmm. Fly by night games. Mm -hmm. Two years before the crash, mm -hmm. counting down to the crash. Mm -hmm. um, yep. 2600 games. Just put that up. Excellent. Um, been looking into getting a, a neon sign, a big one behind really? this. Yes. Oh. They look pretty cool. Like neon, like like not the fake, neon, neon, fake the neon. The fake neon. Yeah. Yeah. But they, yeah. they look I mean, like neon. That's sort of what I was trying to go. You can't see the ale where it's not too bright but right like now. They're like thick white. Yeah, like you can get thick. the thick ones too. There's yeah. There's one in a place in Vancouver that does it. So. Oh really? Looking oh. into it, thinking about it. Um, so a bunch of other companies come in to the picture, um, counting uh, a magic, mm. and a magic was one of the actually good companies that uh, started making games. Um, also, Parker Brothers tonight as well, another company that makes very good games. Mm -hmm. um, M Network, oh, love you, decent games. Yep. Yep. So it's a mix tonight, mostly good games. There's a couple, a couple like of, mm, of duds mm, in mm, there. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, so I want to thank all the subscribers who help support the show. Scrolling beside Tanya there. Al Nefer, mm -hmm. Archimage, Arms Guard, Quarter, Atari 800, Excel's Rules, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Artarius, Maximus, Beer, Poco, Paco, and Zipper Lives, Carlos Madruga, Charles Sedan, and Mal, Charles and Chuck, Charles Wynn, Coconut, Nate, Colonel Lama, Cubanismo, Dianoid, Dan, Evsi, Darryl, 1970, Drexel, Dr. Moo, Cows, Fox, Mother, Great Friend, Ground Trooper, Your Rapper, Johnny Nitro, John DWC, Cabrito, RJRM, Carl G. Ken Jennings, Invader, Kevin Kelly, RTTTZ, Mark Yannis, Mark's Bay Thing, Metal Atari, Make Me's, Mike Soul, Mick Latow, Miss Command, and Mr. Zarnu, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Nostalgic 26, Packer, VG, Koa, Garsh, Andrew, HRC70, Render, Ghost for Penless, VG, Ricardo Pimps, Rod Castor, Six Weeks, Smitty B, Sice, Spiceware, Rest, Ramirez, The D Train, The Watchman, Tiki Dan, Kate, Tim Events, Trek MD, X Ken X, if you want your name there. Click subscribe. It's free if you have Amazon Prime. If you don't, well, you're paying. Uh, let's get on with the show. We got lots of games tonight. Yes. Um, and I asked on the forums uh, what were some people's favorite games from this era because I posted the list. Uh, John Shampo said, wow, a lot of good ones in this list. Defender, Yars Revenge, Haunted House, Frogger, Demon Attack, and mm -hmm. Barnstorming. Top one, he goes with Yars Revenge. Oh yes, a very very good one. It's nice. Um, it's a good. It's a. Is that for all of 1982, or is no, that no, just no. the ones we're doing? Just today? the ones we're doing today. Yeah, because there's a lot of good ones in there. It, no, well, we yep. like to pick our our, our favorites. We do. It's going to be it's gonna just be very hard. looking at the list. It's going to be a very hard list. So. Um, yeah. uh, Cafe Man says Haunted House, Pac Man, and Defender were his first carts. Remember them playing during summer vacation? Mm. Well. While we were away camping, while we weren't away camping, it was like you played cam uh, played Atari games while you're camping. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should have been outside. <laughs> uh, Nathan Strum does a trip down memory lane that you can read on your own time, but he goes for Demon Attack mm. as his top out of that list, which is a very good game, and I played the hell out of that back in the early '80s as well. Really, really good shooter. Um, so let's get into it. We're gonna start the clock uh, with some games that don't have a date but they're in 1982. So I've just put them as January 1st. They're not really January 1st, but nobody knows when they came out. Okay, <laughs> just some, some date. So we'll play them first, we'll okay. knock them off. Uh, first is Air Raid, okay. which is one of the most expensive uh, rare games ever. Not even just for Atari 2600. There's really? only a couple known in the world. Why are there so few? Um, Do you know why? I believe it was made by a Canadian company. 
They went out of business right away. They only put out a couple. It sold terribly. I think it was just through the mail. Okay. So a lot of factors. So this isn't a game that's like a port of another game. It's, it's just it a game that existed. It's actually a knockoff of a Gary Kitchen game. Oh, okay. Uh, it's. Uh, I'll talk about it when we All get right. into it. Trey Guy is rewriting history. Oh. Uh, he says, back then it was easier to farm Bitcoin <laughs> so they could sell the games cheap and have the 2600 mine Bitcoin while you play. But that made the games a bit slow and led to the video game crisis in, in the Sounds 80s. plausible. It's totally plausible. Demon Attack was a big change for me, Vitoka. I used to play the earliest games such as Surround and Video Olympics. Demon Attack's a big step up from those. Um, so it's the first and the 27th. Uh, so, Ooh. start the clock. Yeah, it's it's a game. Menavision. Shoot, shoot the things. Oh, it's couch compliant. Ah. Zero points. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's 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 kind of cool in the fact that it has so scrolling <laughs> buildings. No, it's terrible. It's really terrible. There's just three things that come down and you shoot them and don't be shot. And when they hit the buildings, it disintegrates the buildings and. <laughs> Your bullet goes through them sometimes because they're flickery. Oh, this 525. Is... Um, so, like I said before, uh, we're doing these in release order. <laughs> Cat is playing um, with my foot. We so. give them five minutes each. See, so your bullet's going right through. Them. Right through them. You have to hit them. They, ah, smack in the they're middle. They're obviously using a hardware collision, and since they're so flickery, um, it's just not even registering. <laughs> There's like glitches on the screen. I have a cat playing with my foot right now too, which is really funny. Hi. Oh, you dead? Hi. Watch out for the pretzel. <laughs> Yogi's, Yogi's Castle says the clicks collision detection is terrible. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Cat, what are you doing? This cat is hiding under a table and smacking my foot. Oh, bad cat. He's he wants to play too. We need a cat Atari 2600 game. You know, oh, like those. Like those um, iPad games for cats. Oh, when the cats can play, you mean? Yeah. Oh, come on. I mean, really, if anything moves on the screen, they'll attack it. So every game yeah. is kind of a cat game. <laughs> it's going right through it. Oh, no, I know. You have to hit it right in the middle, or it, it, there's a pretty big chance it'll go right through it. Well, you've been much better than I did. Oh, yeah, those pretzels. Deadly, wow. Oh, deadly I got pretzels. Hit, finally. I think I got, I got an extra man. I mean, not terrible. I like how it's the buildings... A game crunch down like yeah that's something if, if someone made this as a homebrew you'd be like yeah, yeah. it's it's got some interesting elements to it but it's not great I and would, the collision I detection still, is terrible i would still complain about the collision detection no but it, it would need tweaking <laughs> yes it'd be, it's an unfinished game. it's it would be an unfinished game yeah exactly there's a video on YouTube about a news report when an air raid sold for thirty-three thousand. Yes. Really. That was a big deal. Wow. It was a very big deal. Wow. I remember that. Yeah, Vitoko's like, there's no hitbox. <laughs> Look at all the lives I have. Oh my god. Do you? Yeah. I don't know Start how many. Start with three. Oh, I guess you. Oh, it's going right through me. <sighs> Come on. Oh. oh, my building got destroyed. It's impossible to defend it. Oh. Now I have one in a bit buildings. I don't want going to go bye-bye soon. Kind of an element of um, missile command there with the buildings getting destroyed. As That's as true. Get the bottom. Which I like that element. I, I like do like it, actually. That the building is slowly getting destroyed. It's and a great scrolling, representation. And they're scrolling, so they don't immediately go down right away. Because I love how you shoot through them all the time. That's a lot of money for a less than average game. Agreed. <laughs> it's about the rarity, definitely not oh, about the yeah. quality. Man. What's wrong? And it has, uh, it was a blue cartridge with a T handle. So you had a mm. handle you could pull, pull it out, just like Jaguar carts. Mm. Oh, I've only have a tiny bit of a building left. Oh, no, that was it. Mm -hmm. No, zero score. Okay, your turn to play again. No. Oh. Some Back games down. feel like there's lots of time to play. <laughs> Five minutes is a long time. Oh, I'm going right for the bullets. No, it's... Oh, you're it's, dying on purpose. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Starting over. Yeah. I mean, the graphics are... Uh, they're chunk, oh, they're chunky. Oh, come on. At least your ship is animated, I guess. The 
pretzel's oh, not very good. I'm really bad at dodging bullets. The helicopter's okay. It's okay. The colors are a bit weird. Like, that UFO's okay. I don't mind that UFO. I like the, I like the pretzel. The like, pink helicopter's a bit... Everything goes through. I know. It's terrible. It's very hard. Like, you can't win this game. You can't keep going because the buildings just get destroyed. Yeah, there's no gaining them back. No. You can get lives, but that doesn't help. Like, I had three lives when the game was game was over because my buildings got destroyed. Um, yeah, so this is made by Manavision. I couldn't find a uh, author for this game. No? I think they're... No one's taking credit? <laughs> <laughs> no. But I, I, I think if I looked a little harder, I would have been able to find it. I'm sure you could. That's All it right, for that. All right, done. Next one is a two-player game. Actually, Ooh. they took a few more weeks. They might have had something Cuba there. Color. Agreed. Uh, s this was actually made by Rob Fulop, who uh, worked for a Magic. Ooh, Ooh that's it was fancy. Never released by a Magic, but he put out his own carts. Um, Even though it so, says 1982, a Magic. Yep. Interesting. He put them out himself. Oh, please don't tell me this is Rubik's cube. Uh, no. So you have to make. I'm the, I'm in the bottom. You're at the top. You have to make those, make it look like that. What am I making it look like that? There's more bricks. Nope. You have to make the oh yeah the middle nine. You have to fill in the middle nine of these. Uh, How do you do it? So you select one and then press the direction you want it to move. Oh. And you can move a whole row or just one at a time. What if am you I want. selecting here? How are you, you doing this? Go over the nope. Stop. Reckon. Tell me how to do it. I'm going to go over the you green one. You start playing go it. Go over the green one. Yes. Hold down the button. Yes. Move it. There you go. Okay. Like a sliding puzzle. Oh, it slides. Okay, thank you. Well, again, you start playing. Well, I was explaining. I was explaining. Well, I was playing. Sure. Because I can play and explain. Uh... need a white one there. Okay, okay. Got four pieces in. Jeez. Saved by the bell. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, need two red ones. Oh, they're nowhere near. Oh, I'm gonna wreck my stuff. Um, let's move that up. Uh, Caffman 2D says they paused my episode of Endeavor to check in. <laughs> Is it worth it? <laughs> um, it's not a fast-paced game. Ooh, I think I've almost got it. Oh, where's my thing? Oh, maybe not. Let's see. Oh, okay. Then a blue one. Oh, that's not going to work. I need to get that green one. Oh, oh. If I do that, and then that, and that, that, that. Oh, what? Oh, damn it. Maybe I can go all the way around. Move this whole row up. You got it. I was doing it completely wrong. Completely wrong. <laughs> oh, you still have to go. Um, in, oh, I still have to online it's, it. Yeah, online it says there's no score. It's just it's just like competitive there's play. No, yeah, it's just who gets it first. There's mm. no timer. There's just completion. Um, so it's just whoever gets it first. Mm. Kevin 2 d says, I never saw this one. There's another cube game on the 2600, which is kind of fun. Is that... What is that called? It's not called Rubik's Cube. It's called... It's like Cubic's Cube or... What is it called? I can't remember. Reminds me of those slide puzzles. Yeah, it's more of a slide puzzle than a Rubik's Cube. It's just for mine. It's very reminiscent of a Rubik's Cube. I mean, it's very, very well done in the representation of the colors. Because they've got rounded edges. Mm -hmm. Like, those are all made by player characters. Um, if 
So it does look good. Yeah, the Vitoko says I'm impressed with the co but the color management. Yeah, it's really well done the color management. Cuz there's a lot of colors on the screen. There are. Like you This is pretty early for that many colors. So Rob Fulop was uh, doing pretty good, but a magic games are all about colors. Like I think we're going to be playing some of his games tonight as well. Cosmic Arc, which is a huge a very well-known game and a lot of cool things going on in that one. Playing any other ones of his? Yes. Demon Attack, another super colorful game. I had to look up instructions for some of these games because I'm, oh, like, I'm not, it's especially like, this one. I'm like, what do like, I, what what is do, I this? do? Yay! All right. Did you get close? No, because oh. I was doing it wrong. So oh. <laughs> I was doing it in the in the corner, and then I realized, oh, I'm supposed to be doing it for the middle. So, so Eli's ladder <laughs> is next. If you want to load that up. Sure. This is made by uh, Simage. It's actually played on Joystick 2. So I will play this one. Because uh -huh. I was trying to play it on the emulator. And I'm like, what is happening? How, how come I can't get it? Yeah, this, this is it. 6 minus 0 is... Any help from the uh, chat? Uh, chat? 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 Anyone? <laughs> Six. So you get you oh, get it right, so funny. and it goes up the ladder, nice. fills it in. Six minus two. Ooh, I don't know. Eight, three, or five, or maybe four. I'm not sure what like the blue stuff down is and the brown. Uh, just are you decoration. going? Is that going up the ladder? Is it showing your progress? No, it's no, not. No, doesn't seem to be. Chalk. No. It's a chalkboard. It's it could chalk be chalk. And a chalkboard, maybe. Yeah. Nice. Three rare games, yep. Yeah. Super rare games. That's why I don't have release dates for them, because there's not much information mm -hmm. about them. I think that's it. Actually, let's try and get them to the top. Sure. See if we can see what happens. See if we know enough math to get him I to the I say, top. is somebody trying to teach us math? <laughs> They're trying. It's edutainment. Uh -huh. As fast as you can. Although they don't demand Is there any speed. flickering that the capture card is hiding? Uh, no, the capture dog card cannot hide flickering, unfortunately. <laughs> if it could, I would do it immediately. Come on. Um, yeah, there's no setting software that I can use that I have found that I can get rid of flickering mm. by combining two frames at once. If anybody can figure that out, I would be forever indebted to you. Because <laughs> doing this for four and a half years, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and I still have no clue how that's possible. Mm. And I've even looked for a hardware solution to that. And inter de interlacing is not the problem because it's not two separate lines going to. I mean, it, I guess it could work, but. I don't have anything that does deinterlace. I don't know if that would work. Waiting for the difficult levels. Yeah. Well, I think they're only single digits. Really? All of it? So far on this level. Well. Might be higher levels, so we can play. But I want to see get them to the top first. Yeah. Maybe there's multiplication. Oh, one, one more. more. It's almost at the top. Oh. Oh, no. Back to the bottom. Wow. Wow, wow we got 20. Yay. Yay. And I guess I press the button. Okay, so that was game one. Oh, okay. So let's let's go to the top. Let's go right to the top. Do you want to learn some top. math? 10, yeah. 11, 12. You want to learn some math? Sure. Level 18. Uh, oh, you have to get it. Oh. oh, and they're hidden. Okay. Oh, interesting. The timer. Okay, that's oh, something. Oh, goodness. And they're hidden, so you have to go, oh, you can't see them all at yeah. once. What? Oh. <laughs> thinking it was it's something else. It's timed, too. Yeah. And you're like, oh, where is it? Where is the answer? <laughs> it's not it's, as easy as just going to it. It's very colorful. I and think I, that's really nice, actually. It is very colorful. Yeah. I like the little dude going up the ladder. And this mo this arrow this is a very interesting input method. It, it's good because it makes the child, presumably, I yeah. mean, some of us don't know math, but uh, <laughs> figure out the answer first and then look for it, right? Yes. So that makes a lot of sense. 
because you don't have enough time to um, just pick one. You have to think of it and then yeah. look for it. Nice. There's James a lot of is showing off his math skills. <laughs> My subtraction skills. Woo there are a lot of third-party games that look better than Atari's. Yeah, that is true. Um, Time math they, at midnight is rough. Atari yeah. <laughs> was quickly surpassed. Like, Atari released games yes. around this era. Um, they rested on... Actually, part of the problem is mm. that Atari didn't value their employees. And they didn't pay them according to how much money their games were making. So they all left yep. and formed companies. Surprise, surprise. And Magic and Activision. Surprise, surprise. So, and that's why... All right, oh, on next the one. We're starting with the, ra the rare one ones, yeah. right? Yeah. Exocet Missile. And it might be called <gasps> Cruise Missile. All right. Oh, other joystick. Uh, it's also known as Radar Cruise Missile on Exocet Missing. This game is terrible. What, what, by the way. What, what are you supposed to do? Okay, you shoot the things at the top, you have to shoot the heads of them. You okay. started yet. I know, I know. And then you go to the bottom and shoot both of those things. And they shoot you as well. Uh, what? Oh, we have to... You have to direct your shot, I guess. Oh there my god. Go. Yeah, I had to play this one because I was like, what is happening? You have to shoot the head of them. <sighs> <laughs> it's actually right not into a, it. It's not an easy game. It's not a good game, but it's not an easy game. But you said I have to go to the bottom? Uh not no when it opens up. Oh. Laser blast ship. Now, now you go through. Yeah. There you go. Um, so this is made by uh, John Sands Electronics. Um, originally a PAL release, we're playing the NTSC version. Because I was able to find NTSC versions of all the PAL games that were released. I'll oh, kick an ass in the bottom. Mm. Oh. Luckily you don't have to get each one. I do like how it moves up and down. Do you want to go back up? Good. Yeah. I like this shifting screen at the bottom. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that one's the only tricky one, because you, if you don't shoot it, you'll crash into it. Yeah. John Sands were an Australian Ah, country. right ah, into it. That explains the pal, pal land. Oh, went right through. Oh, yeah. Oh. I went right through again. Good shot. <laughs> oh, good shot. <laughs> It's definitely harder to get it through that tiny opening than it is to actually hit it. <laughs> Bit of the land missing there. That's probably where the enemy slots what? in. Oh, no, it's not. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, right into it. The designs of the enemies are not bad. Oh, I'm back at the top. And the shifting oh. land up and down is pretty cool. It does It does add an interesting... Oh. But the game itself is terrible. <laughs> I assume it just continues like this. And there is no option. Ad nauseum. It's yeah. Just that game. But luckily, you get eight lives, Ooh. which is very, very generous. Oh, they mainly mainly made board games. Oh, Yorgi says my copy has no label. Mm. Oh, it is the laser blast ship. Yeah, that is true. Remember laser blast shooting mm -hmm. at the top? That's the exact ship from Laser Blast. Oh, that, that was, was that was that cheap. Was, that was very cheap. That was a cheap death. The pans for the b labels for Panda games were basically construction paper. Oof. So you can tell that you know games companies were just cashing in when they had such terrible. I wonder what happens if you stay up top. Oh God! Oh, you just stay up top. The bottom is easier, so that's probably why you'd yeah. want to go to the bottom. Maybe more, more score. Time. Yeah. I don't know. You got the tactic: stay up top unless. Unless you see it down below. No, I was just very silly. Oh. I, I ran into it. Oh, twice. no, I mean the, like, the enemies at the top stay oh. at the top. You have to be just very careful. I'll give it points for graphics. It's not terrible. Ah, I it's, keep running into the... The sounds are okay. Gameplay is atrocious. Oh, it is. It's repetitive. 
and nothing changes. Nothing, nothing seems to change. There are no options. What? Ugh. I guess you shot the base. Yeah, no, you can't shoot the base. Maybe there's a trend here where Canadian and Aussie companies made terrible games. Yeah, it's so possible. far. Uh, 35 seconds. Gonna try it? Just sure. restart it. There you go. It's not, it's not that bad. I mean, mm. it's just repetitive. It just, nothing happens beyond what's already happened, so. And the, uh, and the, uh. <laughs> it's easy to run into the walls, too. The thing at the up and the, the bottom is kind of cool. Like, mm. changing different positions. Ah. The different parts of the screen. That's a clever, clever design. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, and not the greatest hitbox either. Mm. All right. There you go. Enough that one. This next one is Phantom Tank, also known as you have to load tanks but no tanks. That game. Tanks but no tanks. Terrible, terrible pun. Also known as Tank Brigade and Tanks War. It's also a uh, PAL release. We're playing the NTSC version. Kay. This one is actually okay. <laughs> it's, is it? It's, it's Pac-Man flickery though at 15 hertz. Ooh. So, yeah. Hopefully you're watching at 60 game. frames a second. Yeah, you just shoot the tanks and don't get shot. That's all there is to it. This is released by uh, Bit Corporation sometime in 1982. Yorgi says, uh, I have this one too. Ah, collecting all the rare ones. Or the uncommon ones, at least. And the fact you have to move and shoot is terrible, isn't it? Even though you're facing that direction. Do you have to move and shoot? Uh, no. No. Okay. No. Uh, I think those are mindless. They are mindless. <laughs> they just hit a wall and turn. Oh, do I have to protect this? Ooh. Yes, yep. I do. Okay. Uh, that would have been good to know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, okay. That's all right. This game. Oh, is that it? Oh. One life. Let's go to a different option. Option two. I have this one too. Another panda. <laughs> <laughs> Another panda. Yeah, these. some of these games release like 10 times under 10 different companies. Mm. Some of them are pirate. Some of them are for different territories. PAL and NTSC. You shot that guy. I did. There. Now we shot. Shot him good. I bet this game tanked. Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> so bad. Uh, Atari 2600 dude has the bat, the PAL BitCorp version. Hey, Chalcedony Mal. How's it going tonight? Oh, God. Ooh, it is warm, peoples. 29 in oh, here. It's so warm. Toasty, toasty. Very toasty. But we will soldier on. You will. So we'll just be sitting around in the heat anyway. Why not play some games? Um, af uh, the next one is Racing Pack, which we're not going to play because it's just a packaging from Atari. Okay. <laughs> of slot racers and... Uh, Driving controllers and I have slot racers twice. I don't know why. Two racing games. It was a racing pack. Um, no. And it was serial number Pro 811. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. Does he have to shoot it? Ah! I got, I got in the way. Five lives left. Oh. No. Oh, oh it's my turn. Oh, it's two player. Hooray! Ah, nice. We'll all die. Oops, or me. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> A lot of shovelware to start the night. Yeah. Yeah. Cuba Color was not bad, but um, Rob Full of. I mean, it's not much of a game. No, it's cute. It's, it's kind of a. It's just a puzzle game. Simple yeah. puzzle game. But yeah, so far, pretty shovely. But after this. I love that they cover the college more. shovelware. Yeah, you're just shoveling it out. Or piles, shoveling it into the uh, garbage dump after the fact, maybe? Yep, or or just shoveling it out to to consumers. Oh, does he have to shoot it? Oh, he just <gasps> has to shoot it. What? Wow, you got to be really protective. No. Nope. No. <laughs> no. Right, gotta... Unfair. Unfair. They just respawn immediately, though. They it's, do. It's more about the defense of your... 
Yeah, you could, well, you get points, I guess, for them. True. You don't want to get let them go down too low. Yeah, yeah. It's like trying to get them before they get too low. Should have gotten both of them with one shot. Uh, I know. It doesn't work like that. Maybe we could just oh. stay up here. No, because he's going down. Be careful. I think it sucks that they just need to shoot it. You left it defenseless, so that makes. I guess you. It's as what you're doing makes more sense because you keep just them up top. Because they keep them up top and shoot oh, them. There's only two left. Oh, Ooh, I didn't might, know. Might, uh, get to I, thought, a... I thought it was infinite. Oh, oh, what's happening? Oh my oh. god! Now we're in trouble. That's not good. Their levels. I'm a little bit more impressed. I wouldn't say this is too shovely. This no. is something. No, it, it's something. And there's five of them. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Five levels or. Uh, no, five of them up top instead of four. Uh, I think there was four before. So we're going to play Robot Command Raid, also known as Commando Raid and Air Force. Not here. Oh, it's there. Oh, they're not all in alphabetical order. No. So look for Robot, or probably Commando Raid. There it is. There. So this is made by Ooh. VidTech. Um, it's the same shot thing at the bottom as that other horrible game, oh, uh, Skate is. Shooter. It is, except, except this, this has one you can move more it. Movement. So uh, this was also released under U.S. Oh Games God. Corporation as Commando Raid. This one actually looks really cool. Because you have to shoot the parachuters and before they get to your city. And no! This, and this has hey! destructed... Totally, totally shot it. And the graphics are really good on oh this one. Oh my god, this is really hard. And this has destructive houses too, but much uh, better graphics. Or but smaller graphics, I wouldn't say better. Oh. oh, you don't shoot that? Yeah, you do. I think it just got too low, because there's... Really? Cause you have they, to shoot it from high. It's because they disappear where the houses are. Yeah. Nice sunset, yeah. Very nice sunset. It just takes a bit. I thought I thought it was couch compliant, but no. Come on, come and get me. Mm. Did you reset? Yeah. It play. It's resetting. Mm. You only get one playthrough. It remembers. There oh. we go. Oh, weird. Why do I take so long? I like the parachute guys. The helicopters are really good. Um, oh, you can see them deploy too. They have some animation coming out. Ah, ah, no! And they fall right on the houses. And they and that bomb cannot get to the house level, the top of the house level. So you got to shoot. Oh my quick, god! Quick. I can't. Oh. I can't. The angle is like really, really hard. My turn. Okay, the angle's hard on the bomb. <laughs> I think you probably have to shoot it right when it appears. Get really yeah. shallow angle. I don't know how flexible it is. Oh, you can. Ah, oh, see? Didn't know you could do that. That makes life easier. Um, Curving your shots? Yeah. yeah, it does because I thought you had to hit the angles. Don't hit the angles. Much better. LGBT sunset, yes. Yes, it is. All the colors of the rainbow. Beautiful. Really good. And not oh, only yeah, are they better. colors, they're interspersed colors. So I, they've got background and foreground. I never it's think changing. of testing the curved bullets. Like, so many Atari games have that. Ooh, red guys. They more dangerous. They do. Because it's like the bullet is the angle of you as well. So. Ah! Oh, I got him. Got him just in time. Oh, it's very cool. cool. It's hard to get them all. It is. Oh! Oh, God. Jet went by. Dropped a bomb, but I got it. Oh, and we've gotten to the next level. What could it be? We've got two houses that are kind of destroyed. Mm -hmm. Just a 
dollars. Well, Kathy Man's off. I'll catch the rest on YouTube. Have a good night. Have it is a, a late night. show. It is very late show. <laughs> so, Don't thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks for dropping in. Oh, I got a house rebuilt. Oh, very at, nice. At, at a 10,000 points. Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. So those are your lives. Oh, 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 oh God. God. Oh, too many. God. You can't get them when they're too low. Kathy Man TV says good night and tanks for all the fish. Cheesy. Tanks, but no tanks. Get it, get it. That, that I have to get. Oh, yeah. my God, there's a hole in the ground now. Oh, Guess my that gosh. That means permanently destroyed. Wow. Maybe. One second. Left. Oh. I just want to see what's next. Okay. Uh, purple. Purple. Okay. All right. Do you want to see them destroy it? Oh, sure. Well, I read out the next one. The next one is Sea Monster. Mm -hmm. um, still no date, just 82, by Puzzy mm -hmm. Bitcorp. Oh my god, everything's going underground. That's pretty cool. They're, they're, they're taking you over. Gotcha. Oh, well, no, we didn't quite see interesting. the Interesting. Uh, yeah. Well, I like that one. I thought that, that was pretty bad. good. That one's pretty decent. Yeah, so. pretty interesting, interesting concept. Sea Monster. Sea. That's the serial number PG201, also known as Sea Ghost and Sea, sea Master. This one? Yes, that's the uh, NTSC version. Ready? What am I doing? Um, kill all the things? I'm not sure. <laughs> Don't even know what you are or where you oh, are. Oh, I'm at the top. Oh. Where am I? Go down, go up, move around. Okay, you're dropping bombs. You're shooting things. So there's little air bubbles. There's little fishes, seahorses. Yay! Oh goodness. Looks like you have four lives. You're a boat? I suppose. Fishing trawler? Yeah. It's got some smoke come out of its stack. It's okay. <laughs> Fairly rudimentary. Yeah, there's things shooting up at you. The bubbles are kind of cool. It'd be better if the bubbles went do, 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 all the way up. They're kind of random -y bubbles. Oh, you pull your shot. Ah, I see. Hate that. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> it's kind of good that you don't have to wait till it hits the bottom if you miss. Well, yeah, I got him. Got the yars kind of dude. He's kind of yarsish. Oof. Oh, good one. Oh. oh. Is that it? Yeah, I died a few times. Yeah, a couple, couple deaths there. Screen's a little shaky. I didn't get quite get the uh, line count correct. A little harder to program back then. Oh, oh, he just got me. It's pretty fast, the bubble he shoots up. Am I dead? Nope. Three left. Nope. I'm oh, dead. you are dead. Nope. There oh. you go. Some of these games are weird how you start them or you go Restart. to your next ah! life. Oh, he got me. Like you have to move around and shoot to get your next life or... Dropping the bombs is cool because there's a little splash if you watch. You're like tipping something overboard almost. And the, the waves are really good. Actually, those are really good playfield waves. No. No, no, that was one. <laughs> what is going on? No, no, no. I think, oh, period. Um, no, I do have one more. See, it's so weird That's, restarting it. It up. should just be the button. <laughs> now you're dodging. Now I'm dead. Yeah. See if there's like a two player version. Oh, it says two. Let me go first. Uh, sure. What is this again? Yeah, it is up. Phantom Tank by Bit nope. Corporation. Mm, don't think so. Mm -hmm. Sea Monster. Puzzy. Sea Monster. Bit Corporation. Yeah. Sea Monster. That's what it is. Seago, sea Master. Pal. Sea Monster. Bit Corporation also made Phantom Tank. Ah. We haven't played Phantom Tank yet. I oh, know. We already did. Oh. Was that the tank one? Yeah. Tanks but no tanks? Yeah. Ah. Uh, I, I think the tanks, but no tanks is better than this. Yeah, this is a little... Got him. Oh, he got you. Oh. Oh, oh, is two-player. Okay. Oh, 
It's pretty basic. I don't know if there's higher levels or not, but... But I will give them big points for those waves at the top. They're really good. Really, really good playfield waves. Like, I, I don't think I've seen better waves in a 2600 game, actually. It's like... Four frames? Five frames of animation on those waves? Oh, really, really cool. It. Your turn. Yeah, it's up. Is it? Your turn? Yeah. Up? Up and button? Up and button, which is a... Oh. I guess you won't be pressing up and button. Oh, I missed him with my last shot. Accidentally. Because you want to not restart accidentally. All right. What's next one? Uh, tax avoiders. Oh, this one's weird. American video game. Dunhill Electronics. Daryl Wagner, Todd Clark Holm, John Simmons. Okay. Tax avoiders. So there's two screens to tax avoiders. Okay. So you can jump. Uh, now how do I go up again? I think I hold up, sit down. Come on. January 23rd. Oh, you hold down. Okay. Then you get off another level. So you don't want to get the red tape. How do you how do you avoid the red tape? To go where it's when it's not flashing. What? And you can jump across. See them they flash on the screen? Yeah. Well you move when they're not Oh, there. okay. They're not moving. Oh no, they're not moving. They're appearing and reappearing. Oh I think we I've seen this game before. Ah. Oh damn it. You have to hit that guy when he's green. Only on the second screen. That's very flashy. Ugh, ah. ah, got it. See your your money at the top? I it goes see. up with the dollars. And down with the with the government red tape. Actually in the air? No, I did hit it. And then I hit it again. Uh, luckily there's lots of dollars there. It's uh, not a great game. It's very funny. It's very weird. And on the Get second the money, avoid the red tape. Yep. And actually on the second screen there's yeah. like investments you can pick up. And that's the oh, tax oh. man? He changes from the IRS okay. to like an investor. Oh, I can get him. Do you want to get him when he's green? When he's green. And avoid him when he's... Red and black. So he's going to change to green again. Oh, I couldn't get him. Okay, stay down here. Come on, change to green. Come on. Ah! Oh, did I get him? Think about no, money. You've lost all your money. Oh, I stole my money. This is like tax season, this screen. Oh. Is that what you're supposed to do? That's what the instruction says. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a strange game. I thought that was just flicker. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it is. A, oh, this part? Well, it is flicker because they're showing like one, two, three, four, five, six things on the same line. So they do they have to flicker. They used a lot of the Porky's code in this Atari 2600 dudes. They did. There's yeah. The jumping looks the same as Porky's. Oh, let's go there. Oh, no. Oh. I like how he falls too. It's pretty. Oh, the animation! Like, the falls, animation yeah. is really kind of cute. He kind of jumps. It, it's very—I don't know what you because, would call uh, it. He's got like a Rick and Morty kind of vibe going on. Is that green? Oh, it is. Oh, oh, oh. there's something at the top. It's a terrible game. There's no way around it. I mean, the theme is kind of cute with taxes and dollars and investments and government red tape and it does feel a little bit like republican propaganda <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's very very funny it is very, oh look oh, you got it, it is actually flashing it's flashing so you do jump over them oh because i was thinking oh it's moving but it's not moving it's like literally just did i get it yep Let's get that TV. Yay! Did I get money for that? Oh, it's going up. 94,000. Oh, now it's going down. I need the green guy again. Come on, come on, green. Oh. What does he do? I don't know. He doesn't seem to do anything. So you do have to jump over the red. Oh, 
Come on. Not sure how you get that jump? lift. No, it's not jump. No? Like it's up and down or something. Oh, okay, there's the red. Jump over it. Oh, that one's too close to the edge. Instructions? Don't believe everything you read. Oh, damn it. Jump, jump. Get that green. But you do have to get it when... Like, you have to stand still till it flashes because it is using um, hardware collision. What's that thing? Did I get money? Oh, it's going up now. Did I get money for that? No. Didn't, didn't. So do you just run away from him? It looks like you just run away. Yeah. You just keep running away. You keep your money and you okay. get more. Now we're playing the first one I have a cartridge for. Haunted House. Mm. Actually, I have tax avoiders and cartridge, but it's in the box. Mm. We played this on Halloween. We played a hack of this. Mm. So you have to press the button. To avoid mm. those things. That's the bat. Press the button to look around so you become meat wad. And you look for items. There you go. That's one item. You go up and down the stairs. Those were, but look on this whole level for something, for some other pieces. Sprite's animation was good. Yeah, the sprite animation was very good in that. Oh, there's some stairs. I think there's three I levels. Think up a level. Yeah. Red oh, you level. can see what level you are. Level oh, three. Green. Yeah. Yellow now you're level. level four. Four. Oh my goodness. And four levels in this house. Right. Haunted house. I don't house. know where I have and haven't been. It's very, very confusing. I think you got all of them on level two. I got attacked by a spider this morning. I didn't get attacked. Attacked. I was going down into our parkade and it's very hot and there's. That spider. It was this white spider that had created what? a web, and I just like walked right into the web. Three. Same stairs up and down. You're just here. No, no, no. You're on level four. I know. I'm trying to find the stairs to level four. Oh, I see. Three. Huh. I think you have to be on three to go to two. Uh, I'm just. Yeah, four's the top. Two. There you go. Now you're on two. So this was uh, released January 31st, 1982, an actual date, yeah. uh, by Atari. CX2654, uh, made by James Andreessen. Oh, spiders. Level one. There you go. Oh. Oh. So you got the wand. Now, I can't remember what you have to do in this game. We... We did play it. I think you have to put certain things on certain levels, maybe? Yellow? That was yellow. What's that? It's a candlestick. You can only hold one thing at a time. Oh. oh, no. Did it combine with something you were holding? Yeah, it did. Okay, go back up to the other thing now. Try and combine it with that. No. Okay. It's a puzzle game. It's like... Okay. Light so puzzle game. One. Get the last piece up there and you've got it. Okay, so... Collect the parts oh. of the urn. Oh, Yay, there you go! I've got the urn. Now you have to go to level four. Oh, nope. You have to go back get the urn, maybe? No, I... Oh. What so I pick the up urn? the urn. Oh, there I have and the And then you have to exit the building? Is that what well, you have no, to I'm do? I'm on level one. Do you have to go up? Uh, go back down. I think you have to exit the haunted house. Do you? So try and look for other things. Try and look for another exit. Uh, or maybe go to the top. Oh, you have the wand again. What happened? No, no, it's fine. I... There's the urn. Do I have to go up? Back where you came in. Metal With the urn? Says and, yeah. I, I already went that way, didn't I? That's three. It's on level one, isn't it? I think it's on level one, is the exit, because that's the first floor. Isn't that the exit? No. Try all the... Is it this door? 
Yay, oh, you did okay. it. Thank you. 46 seconds Metal remaining. Metal has played this before. Yep. Oh. We go to level two. It's a dark oh, level. No, oh, no. It's a dark maze. Dark maze James is my favorite. Is favorite. Now you can't see when the enemies are coming at I you. Know. That's uh, harder. That's a that's more like a haunted house, if you ask. That me. was the training wheel level. Yeah, this is yeah. more haunted house. This is much more scary. This one. Definitely. Ah. Oh. Picked up something. Yep. Piece of the urn. Nine seconds. Can you find all the other pieces? What is, it, what is that noise? Is it just scary noises? Is that what it is? Maybe. I don't see anything on the screen. All right. Next is Space Woo! Chase. Space Chase. I actually have a cartridge for this as well. If it works. We'll try it a couple times. Blowing it. Nope. <laughs> oh, got some yellow lines. February 6th, 1982, from Apollo, AP-2001, made yep. by Ed Salvo and Byron Parks. It's an action game. We're going off cartridge. Going off multi-cart. But here's the cartridge. What was it called again? Space Chase. Space Chase. You want to try this one? Sure. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. Sparkly sky. Vertically scrolling play field. A horizon on a sky. horizon on a planet. That is. Oh, have a good night, Fatoko. Excellent. That is cool. Somebody was creative. Yeah. Ooh. Difficult. Hey, stop it, cat. He's, he's uh, expectant. Expectant of treats. Yeah. Oh. That was cool. They're warping in. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, they're dodging the bullets. Great art. Yeah, I, I like the Very look of it a good lot. Art. It looks really neat. You have like the um, mountains, mountainous uh, terrain scrolling by. Spaceships are eh, multicolored, would have been better, but I think they uh, did a good enough job on the planet. The uh, rotating mm -hmm. planet that uh, it looks really we can good. forgive that because they probably used up all their time doing that yeah time as in uh instructions yeah in the game oh i in shot his game. bullet yeah this game can prove the earth is not plain or flat yes <laughs> yes well i don't think that's the earth either <laughs> but oh uh, very oh cool. my god what they all come back so it's just for score by the looks of things? Do you um, think there's a end point to this game or it just continues? If the person was clever, they would change the oh, color of the planet. Back and forward too. Yeah. Yes, for different because levels. That makes a whole world of difference. Yeah. Just oh. changing the color of the planet. And I doubt they change the terrain because they wouldn't have much room to no. store the terrain. Yeah, fair enough. They could do the terrain in a different order. I mean, it wouldn't take up much, it wouldn't take up any more memory. The movement of the bad guys is does erratic. is is erratic and different. So, yay! But it seems to be the same four. <sighs> so far. And they just kind of erratically go back and forth, I'm waiting for something to change. I went right through two of them. Yeah. Um, Do a yeah. barrel roll, Yorkie says. <laughs> yeah. Nothing's changing at all, and I don't know where my lives are. Like. Where's where's the live show? Oh, went right through them. <laughs> oh my! That's the same thing over and over again. One trick pony. <laughs> One trick pony. Like even the color changing. Yeah. Or or the spaceship flying off when like it just mm. flies off when you complete a planet and you change the planet color. Easy, easy peasy. Easy peasy. No. Purple guys forever. Even the enemy color doesn't change. Mm. What's that cat doing? Bad uh, kitty. Ran into something. Ran into the door. Yeah, nothing's changing. Just for score, I guess. That's 
that's, starts off great, and then you're like, Ugh, oh, is this all there is? <laughs> that's really unfortunate. Yeah. With a couple little changes, like they don't even get harder. No. They're not getting faster. No. Nope. Like nothing is changing whatsoever. Oh my goodness. This is pretty rough. Yeah. Spend all their time working on the awesome planet. Planet does look good. Oh yeah, really good. Um, very cool play field scrolling. Give them that. It's twinkling stars. Mm -hmm. Great. Love the, Yeah, it's almost like they did it for the background and then went, oh, we have to put a game on top of this background? Yeah, it was like a demo. Yeah, they yeah, made. exactly. It feels a little bit like a demo. Yeah. Or an unfinished game. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, we got to get a game out. Uh, who has a game ready? Uh, I have one half finished. Good Bob, good Bob, enough. do the game. Yeah, good enough. Good, good enough, enough. Ship it. <laughs> Ship it. <laughs> Next one is a uh, space jockey. Gary Kitchen's yum, first yum, game. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, it's yum yum time. Is it yum yum times? It is yum yum. Black, Black times. kitten, did you hear that? It's Dan ABC treating the cats. Kittens. Oh, you heard that. Oh, there, there, there you go. Cat treats. <laughs> Service! <laughs> Service, please! What am I paying not for? for you. That's not for you. Who ate that? Peter, he did he bring stole it. it! I know, but he stole it from the gray cat. Figured yeah. it was due. Yeah. Was that you? Yep. Figured it was due. It was well due. These cats are chomping at the bit. He's like, oh, I didn't hit the bell. Hit the bell. On hit the it. top. Hit the bell. Hit it. On the top. Make, make a sound. You're not deaf. We know. There you go. That's for you. Sprite, hit the bell. There Good you go. Kitty. Good kitty. Ding, ding. Chalcedon Mouse says, ding, ding, ding. So do the cats. Good kitty. What's the name of the black cat? His name is Sprite. Named no. after, oh God, there he is. Named after this character. <laughs> The Soot Sprite from Ghibli Studios. That? Give you a couple more. Um, and he's also oh named after kittens. sprites in video games oh, as well. A little bit much. Okay. Oh my! Oh look at them! They're both demanding. Demanding. Service. Okay, one for you. One for you, good kitties. It was way easier to teach the young <laughs> one, even though Atari was very <laughs> quick. Sprite uh, picked it up second time. Yeah. First time he's like, oh, what? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? What? And second time we put the bell down, he went ding, 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 <laughs> right good away. Good kitties. Good kitties. All done? Uh, there's one oh. more. Oh, good kitty. Good kitty. You guys. My goodness. <laughs> Casually hanging out for hours, just waiting for the bells to go off. Yep. That's what they do. They bide their time. They do. Cat's coats are looking shiny. Yeah, especially oh, that black cat. Yeah. He's looking nice and shiny. Okay, space Your jockey. Adorbs. I have two cats. Yep, they are well, pretty you want some cute. Fun thing to do. You can <laughs> teach them to ring a bell. Uh, most of Atari lovers are cat lovers as well. Seems that way. Yep. G Gato Zerma. Gato. Yep. Okay, so this is Gary Kitchen's first game. Oh! Space Jockey okay. from US Games. Okay. I reset it so you can go. Uh, VC 1001. It's also called Time Race. Um, and this is the game that was uh, kind of ripped off and turned vertically, mm. that terrible one. Mm. Um, the Air Raid, the most expensive Atari game. <laughs> right into the bullet. Ah! Couch. And, ah! It's, and it's couch <laughs> the compliant. Shots are so fast! Good job, Gary. Oh my god! Oh, this is not good. Do they ring those bells all night lying while you're trying to sleep? No, nope, they are well hidden from them. If we left them out, yes, they would. Oh, it's a tree. Oh my god. Good I'm colors. Out of this. Good colors in this game. I like the tree. Did you get points for that? I'll have to look oh, next time. For one. God's sakes. Their shots are so fast. My turn. No, nope, one oh. more. I like the hot air balloons. Those are nice. Nice helicopter. 
I don't like those things. Yeah, you got 20 points for shooting a tree. Oh, and a house. And you get 20 points for that. So ah, the ones that shoot are terrible. Oh, that's 50 points. So you do get more points for certain things. For all different, the harder things. All different points. Yorgi's Castle says, I like this one. It is really nice. The rolling hill at the bottom? Ah, they like anticipate you. <laughs> is that scrolling playfield? It is. Horizontally scrolling playfield. Mm. That's very, very good. That's a slow play. Kind of gets in your way. It does. It'd be cool. It, it would have been good to keep track of like, oh, this is the first scrolling playfield, but I can't remember if this is horizontally scrolling playfield. It might be. Oh, your bullet went right through that guy. Yeah. Okay, so oh. you'll do much better. 1585. I play this one for quite a bit, Yorgi's Castle says. Um, yeah, we keep the cats away from all bells at night. Yeah. Um, although, we noticed something really cute, <laughs> or I did. We have, like, a, an alarm that goes off, but it's, like, Ugh. ocean sounds. And it's kind of funny, because in the ocean shit sounds, there's, like, um... Seagulls. It sounds like a seagull going in the background. And when it goes off... The black cat outside of our bedroom door will start crying, and I swear he's trying to Im imitate the seagulls <laughs> on the on the uh, on the like track that plays when the alarm goes off. Oh yeah. So I call him the little black seagull. So he sounds like one. <laughs> food, food, food. Mine, 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 mine. mine. Yeah. He's a little black seagull. What? <laughs> Went right through Wow, those it. bullets really come at you fast. They do. It's yeah. it's a challenge. Like a lot of enemy bullets in video games are like super slow, but this is not. And the enemies clear the screen before uh, it. Oh, see, it, yeah, the ones They're that shoot so are fast. so fast. You have to dodge them so quick. Kind of get in line and shoot and move immediately. Yeah, you do. And even then, you it's have to not place your shot really well. And you can't do it when they're too close, you know, because there's not enough time. Unless they've just shot, because there's always a delay yeah. between their last shot and their next one. Ooh, what's that? Thing at the bottom? Yeah. Life. You got a new life? Yeah, every an extra thousand, life? Sorry. I think. Every thousand. A new, a new life. life. A new life renewed. A new lease on life. Yeah. And they're, the cats are gone now. Yeah, they're like, we they're got They're like, fed. ah, we got our treats. <laughs> Time to wait upstairs until we get fed dinner. Um, fighting. I know I can hear them fighting upstairs. Oh, I kind of like the idea of uh, you being the uh, alien destroying the humans. Oh, that is true. That is interesting. Instead of humans destroying the aliens. Shows things to come for Gary Kitchen yep. and his creativity. Mm -hmm. Ah, terrible. We have a couple games tonight Two. by him. What? There we Yay, go. Yay, good score. That's that's it's not a bad <sighs> game for an early game. Not it's terrible. 29 degrees in here. Now it's Activision Barnstorming. Now we have played this game because I've got my attachment. Oh, came on for a second. There we go. Oh yeah. And this one is not couch compliant? No. No, because I remember having to sit there. <laughs> On the ground. Uh, it's made by uh, Steve Cartwright. Uh, it's by Activision AX013. So you go through the barns ah! and avoid the birds and avoid Silly birds. the uh, wind. And where, where are they? Uh, I always forget to go through the barns. The barn. Oh, this is terrible. There is. A, there is. Nope. <laughs> Because the barns are how you complete oh, a level. Oh God! Yeah. Oh, I, I'm okay. I'm, I need to start over. Terrible, terrible. Yeah, there is a perfect pattern for this. Yeah, there is. You I remember you doing it. it, and then once you learn it, it's like it's like two barn, one, barn up. Oh my God. Up, down, barn. Yeah. Oh my God! <laughs> you have to be right on the bottom. Yep. And you have to go like full speed the whole time. 
You can't even get down fast enough. My goodness, you have to know the pattern. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> hit those, hit those seagulls. Oh my gosh, four in a row, five in a row. I think it's just waiting for you to go through it. The last one. <laughs> Three, two, smash. Uh, smash, smash, smash. Yeah, without the pattern, we're both going to be very poor at this game. Ugh, can't remember it anymore. Well, it's it's gone now. Cause... Okay. Woo! I remember you, you playing this and doing very well. Yeah, it's so hard. You just clip it if you're going... Oh my god. Oh gosh. You did very well though when you were playing it. Uh, yeah, pretty good. It's because of memorization. Yeah. Right? It is memorization though. Randy Quaid is the pilot. <laughs> <laughs> well, who did he play a pilot in? Was that in 1942? Was that Steven Spielberg's 1942? Did he? Yes. Oh, the crop, like, was he? He was a crop, a crop duster. Oh no, he, no, sorry, I'm thinking of a different movie. He, he, wasn't he in um, uh, the one with Will Smith? Did oh, he... in Independence Day? Independence Day, yeah. He was in Independence Day, right? Ah, I do remember watching that. Have a totally Way back film. when, yep. Oh, 46 seconds. No, much Beat that. Uh, we'll see. Independence Day. Got two minutes. Oh, you have to go <laughs> up did. immediately. Immediately. And down immediately. This yeah. is ridiculous. I'm just going to go slow then. Slower does make it easier. What you want to do is stay in the middle between the barn and that so you can go up or down. Because if you go too high, you can't do the barn. If you stay too low, you can't do the windmill thing, wind indicator. The wind vane. Wind, weather vane. Weather vane? Weather vane, but There's vane. also a weather vane on the, uh, on the barn as well. That's a wind generator. Could be. Not back then. Yeah. Actually, it could yeah. be like grinding corn. 48, almost. Oh, good stuff. Oof. One, mil one more better. minute. We do one more. Yay. Get those birds. Get, get them oh, out of the way. God. This one was released uh, March 7th, 1982. Oh, oh no. no. Going for a pretty good score there. Oh, you're going to beat it. You're going to beat it. Oh, where's the next barn? Go for it. You did it. Yay. Nice. Perfect. Independence Day. So might as well get the next one going. Okay. Uh, next one is Grand Prix. Uh, also March 7th, 1982, by Activision, AX014. It's by David Crane. And this game is known for its very wide sprites. And it was a clever use of re... of changing the width of the sprite. And also the animation on the tires. So you want to avoid the cars, you want to avoid the potholes. I don't have my patch on this one either. I do have it on bar barnstorming though. There's also oh, some God. clever bridges coming up as well. Be careful with your movement. Metal Lunar says, love this game. Which one? The last one or this one? I didn't see one you typed that. Probably the last one. <gasps> <laughs> Can't go too fast. Right into it. A bit of speed. Yeah, you're getting getting up there in speed. Oh my goodness. And the potholes just shift you up or down a little bit. I don't know if they slow you down. I bet they slow you down a little bit too. Division really enjoyed timed games, eh? Yep. Well, because they have patches, so that has to be um Whoa! Whoa, what was that? It's the end. They have to get it. They have to get the hell out of the way because they have to draw flags. I thought those were oil slicks. Yeah, me too. That, oh, oil slicks. Yeah, yeah, they would. They would make you uh, spin out. 
This Why? one is also a memorization. It's like, oh. Oil. Yeah, I agree. I think I think it's meant to be oil, not potholes. You're just thinking of Vancouver streets. Potholes, yeah. <laughs> Canadian, Canadian roads. More potholes than pothole. Potholes. <laughs> pot oils. Potholes. Pot stores. <laughs> pot stores. <laughs> potholes than uh, oil slicks on the roads here. Yeah. Ugh. Pot stores. <laughs> <laughs> lots of those, too. Oh, lots. Uh, I don't know what the patch is, but I've already crashed twice or three yeah. times, so I'm definitely not getting it. This is a memorization one, too, because it's the exact same every Pattern, time. Pattern, yeah. yeah. So it's like, bottom. It's like, one, two, one, two. Yeah. 49 seconds. Can somebody look up the patch uh, time for this one? I think you have to be perfect to get it right. Yeah, I'll look I think it up you're right. you're doing it. Yeah, you do have to. I remember us playing it. Didn't we try we, to? We definitely did do this We were one. trying to memorize the cars and get into the right lanes. And you have to, ah, you do have to be perfect because the, the, the positioning of all the cars shifts as you hit them and. Yep. Uh -huh. Well, this isn't even a patch level, so. Oh, okay. Count. It's one minute for game two. Which is the one you probably want to play. Ah. So I'll play game two. Yeah, there's no patch for level one. Oh my Just, god. Well, get out of the way of him. No, I was trying to I was trying to I thought I was speeding past him. And then I moved over way too soon. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. And flags. So Oof. that would have been a patch on level two. My turn. It's one minute for And you've got one minute and forty eight seconds. So. Just enough time to get the patch. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Kenny is just trying to ram him off the road. Yep, that works too. <laughs> I have never seen a live car racing event. Have you? No, they're noisy they're, they, and smelly, but uh, there are some EV uh, electric uh, but Formula Ones. They've had like here in Grand, Vancouver. Grand Prix here before. Yep. Uh, did you never saw that when you were a kid or anything like that? No, no. Not, not interested. No. Because you see them for like half a second. Well, go, if you're interested in the cars, I can see people taking their kids. That's why I was curious if you ever saw it when you were when you were young. But, uh, oh. Uh, I thought that was the end. Still at only 46. Oh, not going to make it. Too slow. Cars, get off the screen. Who oh, my patch? Get off the screen. Run away. That it's just after this. Oh, five seconds. No, oh, you can get patches much. on all four levels. There are different times for all four. All four? Yeah. Even the first level? Because I just looked up and there's only for two, three, and four. Oh, maybe there's. I thought you we played one. Maybe. Maybe this is inaccurate information I'm looking at. Could be. Now oh, here's the end. I have to shave off 27 seconds. <laughs> Uh, Lord Monkus says Enduro oh, was the game. Oh, game that one is thirty-five seconds. Okay. That would make sense. Um, okay, so we only have a couple next. seconds left, okay. so we'll go for the next one. Next. It is Pac-Man. Uh oh. March sixteenth, nineteen eighty-two, by Atari. Now, this is a controversial game. Yes, I've heard so much slandering of the Pac-Man. So much slandering of the Pac-Man. When I played it in 1980s, I thought it was just fine. Yeah. It wasn't Pac-Man, but it's it's a maze. You're a Pac-Man dude. There's ghosts. There's power pellets. It's kind of a terrible maze. <laughs> there it is. Oh, come on. There's an escape route. It has all the elements of Pac-Man. Yes. Not that great, The sounds are funky. <laughs> Uh, Metal Lunar says, uh, when that's I was little, this small. is the first Pac-Man I played, so I didn't know any different. That's yeah, kind of that's the situation fine. I was into. I didn't play it a lot. You have to get it well before. Oh, my God. It's a terrible game. <laughs> Tanya's not impressed. No, I'm not impressed. I like Pac-Man. Tanya's played too many Bob Deck Presenzo ports. I have. <laughs> and they are excellent, that's the fruit. Bob. That's the fruit. Wow. <laughs> wow. Don't let Todd Fry hear oh. you say that. Um, Sorry, Todd. 
Uh, so made by Todd Fry, March 16, 1982, CX-2646, um, licensed by Namco. Was it licensed by Namco? It's an actual, fully licensed oh. game. Um, the big big criticism was the ghosts were a little flickery. flickery. Because they're I've at, made peace with it, your I've yes, made I peace with it. <laughs> Very disappointed, yeah. Same here, loved it, Atari 2600 dude. The Clico tabletop version was better. Yep, it is. Uh, ghost it, behavior is less natural than the original. <laughs> yeah, they kind of just go where they want to. Yeah. I used to play it in black and white mode. Flicker isn't as noticeable. Yeah. Really? Oh my god. I pressed up. Curse you, Todd Fry. Curse you. Did he do other better games? Um. Or is this is this the stain on his uh, coding career? No, he's 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 happy with it. It sold a ton. It sold oh. a ton of copies. I mean, it, it was what was probably possible at the time it came out, right? A, so a lot of it was. Yeah. Um, because he would have to use Flickr management. Yeah. Um, which was not a thing yet, really, that anybody's in, invented that I've seen in any game so far. So he just constantly flickered the ghosts. Um. The maze, it's very difficult to do. It is. This maze. Uh, draw it. Um, it's, just, it's just kind of rough, that's all. He didn't have much room, so having a different Pac-Man go vertically, as opposed to the horizontal, constant horizontal Pac-Man. Yeah, yeah. The sounds are, you know, not amazing, but they're, they're Pac-Man-y, kind of. <laughs> it's just when you've seen some really good versions of Pac-Man, yeah. you just kind of go, ooh. <laughs> well, we have the, um, you have to think about what it was like yes. when it was released. Yeah, and that's fair. And, and, and for a lot of people, they loved it probably because they love Pac-Man. They could play <laughs> Pac-Man on their console. So. Yeah, and there were um, definitely some Pac-Man watches that were much worse than this. Like Game & Watches, or...? No, like watch watches. Like, like watches you would play Pac-Man yeah, on? my oh, friend had hilarious. a Pac-Man watch. Wow. Back then. And, and it how... was terrible. <gasps> it was very, very basic. <laughs> it was worse than this. But, of course, it was on a watch. Not much room you can uh, put on a watch. I don't know when the tabletop was released. The tabletop arcade, you mean? Yeah, the or one... Or the table... Oh, the little one. Yeah, the tabletop one. Mm. Come on, split up, guys. Oh, I'm gonna die. Nope, I'm not gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Miss Pac-Man was a lot better, yes. Is Miss Pac-Man for the Atari? Yes, ah. it was really, really good. Yeah. And people have made hacks of that yeah. to back, back into Pac-Man because of the sounds and the maze. Junior Pac-Man was great. Yeah, Junior Pac-Man is so hard. I love Junior Pac-Man. I think it's one I've... of my favorite arcade games. I think. You try to think about Baby Pac-Man. Oh, Baby Pac-Man. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Yes, I am thinking about Baby Junior Pac-Man Pac is ah, squish. Is deadly hard. Yeah. And when we I think did I've... that, I think. Yep, we did. Bought one of Bob's versions. Bob's versions. Version. Yeah. Yeah. But the uh, 2600 version is very, very good. So next game is Demon Attack. Woohoo! Biomagic. It's one of your favorites? I played the hell out of this one. All right, you're going to play That's this one then. Archie. I need to get another drink because I am sweating hot. Oh, it's hot in here. Oh because my it's goodness. A shooter. <gasps> it's the so colors. Cool. The colors. So, the guy at the bottom always shoots the bullets. So, you want to just stay out of his way and shoot the other dudes. Because they're not shooting at you. Magic, uh, were some of the most colorful, kind of psychedelic, colorful games. Come on, I'll go for the lower one. Cause that guy's gonna turn into lower one anyway. Uh, Metal Lunar Seven says this is a great shooter. Hundred percent agree. Such a great shooter. The animation, the colors, the movement. Uh, the font. Your ship is really cool. Um, you can't recall your bullets, so you have to wait for your bullet to come back. Um, the bullets, they're raining down. 
are detailed and a whole bunch of them and the enemy uh the looks of the enemies are so varied so so clever this was the first great shooter on the 2600 the colors on those guys. Gorgeous. Oh my god, that was stupid. It does get very difficult after a while. Come on. There we go. And now it's time for the guys to split when you shoot them. Oh, wow. And they they're dive amazing. bomb at you. They're amazing. Look at the bullets that they're shooting. Big clump of bullets. Never shoot the bottom guy, because that guy will dive bomb you if you split him apart. Oh, I see. Smart. And somebody just takes his place anyway when you, sh when you kill him and becomes the bottom guy. So you always go for the top guys. Trey guy says, wow, did not know this game. Great realization. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Wow. The Even how they vary the sounds when you hit them and vary the enemies. Yeah. Yep. There's so many enemy designs in this yeah. game. This one should be in everyone's collection. 100%. There's, there's something it's about the detail in the demons and the monsters, too. They're incredibly They're detailed. They're beautiful. They look so nice. I would say this is like the first of the next gen games. Yes. This first, this where is they the first really one. do look. Um, high resolution, high, lots of color. They even have the sound of beating wings. I love it. <laughs> oh, so pretty. Like the, the tops of them look golden. Yeah. Or copper. Very cool. Because the the configuration of the color. Here, I'll let you play it. I'll no, play no, it for no. A you play time. it. You play it. There's only a minute and thirty left. Oh, okay. You're you're doing a good job. You're showing off the enemies. Well, so. I played the hell out of this game. I know. This is one of the one of the pack that I had for that I borrowed from my aunt. Oh yeah. So it must have been around more around this time. That, that you played it, yeah. Yeah. Late adopter. That would, that would make sense. But I didn't have one of my own. I didn't have a, a 2600. I would have just been so happy if I did. All kids would have. Yep. They all want the latest console. But it was literally like a $1,000. Oh, now yeah. Money. Like, who's going to buy a $1,000 well, console for this? Think child? of a PS5. I mean... That's the, half the price of this. How much, but how much are they when they have all the, the memory? They're not cheap. Oh. They're like $500. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's this was double the price. Double, but still, it's and the a games lot of were money. were double the price. A lot of money. Oh, yeah. So this was made by the guy who did Cubicolor, but I can't read it. Can you get the sheet? Read it. <sighs> this was made. Demon Look at attack. these guys. Look at these guys. <gasps> Oh, they're big so... Mouth, they're big like, mouth bass fish. Uh, what are they? Um, oh, my God. Those things in the ocean that uh, filter. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Manta rays? Oh, yeah. Manta rays? Yeah. Are they the ones that have the big mouths? Anyway. Uh, they, they're that, flap. That flap their wings. And, yep. Yeah. Manta rays? Rays? Rays. Stingrays. 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 Stingrays, maybe. Anyway, I could play this forever. I have six lives. Uh... uh Demon Attack, Magic, Rob Fulop. What's the next game? Next one is Star Voyager. Oh my gosh, we're not even halfway through. Bye, Magic. Oh! There's oh. a lot of games. Well, these cats are going to be apoplectic. Why? For dinner? It's dinner, dinner time for them. Okay, here you go. Okay. Oh. Shoot the things. Oh. Oh, oh I'm oh. going to die. Avoid their shots and shoot them. Oh my god. Not easy. Oh my god. This is horrible. And I think you could shoot their shots as well. This one I have not played. Oh my god. I think he died. Well, yeah. I didn't <laughs> shoot anything. This one is couch compliant. Yay. Oh my god. How do you even get them in your sights? Are they wiggly? Holy crap. It's the Star Voyager, March 28th, 1982, by Magic, made by Bob Smith. This is insane, this game. Not going to read out the ID number. I don't even know how to get it. Because it's 
long and nonsensical. You do it. I can't. I can't even. I can't even get it in the center of the screen. Well, you're shooting more than I did. I was trying to get it in my sights, but I guess you just shoot continuously. Mm, there's no reason not to. Hey, okay, well, well. I was dead too. They are wiggly. Oh, they're really hard. Oh my god, they're so wiggly. <laughs> da, da. <laughs> kind of music? It's nice. Is that the first music that we've heard? Uh, I don't know. Am I starting over? What is happening? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, it's 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 there you go 89 88 82 I'm on level two oh it's still counting down okay still playing the same game three four four okay so how it's many count you kill then yeah without getting killed great starfield. Zooming through, that's the first time we've seen a um, kind of 3D perspective. Uh, 29, I think that might be my energy. Oh, 5, 4, 3, 2. Dead! I killed 4! Use the map to go to the dot, then go through it. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, no, you... Use the map to figure out where he is. That one I can figure out, but then trying to actually get There's him in your sights. Holy crap. Then is, go through it? Or is... Oh, okay. Are you supposed... Oh. Because you're a certain distance away from the... The dot? You're the trying dot. to get to the dot? That so blue dot? To, yeah. And try to kill the bad guy who's green. Oh, out of oh, I think I'm wasting my bullets, actually. That's why it's constantly this going down. This is the problem if you don't read the instructions. You really have no idea what you're doing. And I'm not reading 38 manuals every day. You're supposed to go to the red thing? Yeah, but... Rather than shoot it? Get the flashing dot into the middle of the radar. The yep. flashing dot. Yep, I am. Then it kind of disappears after I kill the guy. And then I have to reposition. So I'm, I'm guessing I'm getting closer each time. So there's the flashing dot or yeah, the solid dot? Yeah, the flashing dot. dot. So get the flashing dot into the middle of the screen. Oh, okay, I'll try. I'm guessing... Nope. So I have to move down. Yep, okay, I have to move down. It's, there we go. Warp! Oh, I get all my energy back. Okay. Okay. Well, we kind of got the idea. You get yeah. your energy back by going through the dot. Yep. Nice. It's a cool... Uh... Once you've killed the enemies. Yeah, we played a very oh, similar okay. game to this. Um... We did. Kill the enemies and go to the, the flashing dot. Yeah. Next one is trick shot by a magic. Trick shot. This oh, that sounds game. sporty. Oh, these magic games are so tight. Oh, no, it's cool. Is this Ooh. Supposed to be no. Kittens. There you go. Watch out for the cat. How does this work? Well, it's cool. So aim your shot. Oh, press the button. I went the wrong way. Yeah, that wasn't the other way. Scratch. <laughs> so, so that's okay. Nice. No, don't go in. Better. I like this one. When I went to boarding school, we would play this. Ah. Yep. This is the first pool game. 
for the 2600. And the flickering works because you do, it's not action-y, right? Yeah. Oh, 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 no! No oh. flicker management yet, though. So this is by Magic, March cool. 8th, 1982, by Dennis Koble, also known as Billiard. Nice. I didn't call the, the pocket, but whatever. Do you have uh, to? No. Not in this. No. But if I was actually playing pool, nice. it would be. Oh. Oh. Each shot is a trick shot, I get. You want to you want to hit it so that you get everything Both into a in. pocket somewhere. All right. Interesting. Kittens. Hmm. First and only pool game for the 2600, I think. Oh. Yeah, I can't think of another pool game. I mean, there's mini golf, which is but you're not hitting things into things. You're just hitting one ball. Ooh, three of them. Nope. That didn't <laughs> quite work. So each time, it's a totally different setup. Yeah. Oh, God, that was terrible. Uh... Nope. <laughs> Fun, though. Yeah. I like this. It makes me want to play pool. I haven't played pool in forever. No. Oh. oh, one went in. My turn. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. First and only pool game for the 2600, I think. I like that it's trick shots. It's not... Um... Just pool. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, there may be redemption. No. no. It doesn't tell you Smart. your power, though. No, you have to kind of just judge it. I think your power is probably the same everywhere. No, okay, I don't know how you get that one. Probably have to hit it at the right angle. Kittens. Meow. Oh, boy. Three. Nothing. No, oh, maybe one. Mm. Nope. That's pretty fun. Yeah. Endless entertainment because it looks like it's randomized each time. May not be. And there. Oh, too much angle. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. <laughs> now I'm pretty sure I know what I have to do. Mm -hmm. Well, to get one in. Oh, oh, first one. Oh, oh. just a little off. Very no. close. And scratch. Oh, I remember you doing this one. I'm sure, if you hit that angle right, you can get both of them in. Yeah. I'm sure there's a way for all of them. Yeah, there would be, yeah. So after playing for a while, you'd be like, okay, I know this one. And yeah. I know how to do this one. And then you get a second one. The ball just stops sometimes. Yeah. Like, it does stop. It doesn't does bounce. Does it stop every time? Is there only one ball in play at any given time? Maybe. Yay! Good that was job. a round trip. All right. That's a pretty cool that game. That is a fun game. I like that. Uh, now it's Yar's Revenge, mm. a classic. Howard Scott Warshaw. Go for it. Do you know how to play this? It's been a while. Okay, shoot away. <gasps> <it's>... <laughs> I forgot about that. Shoot away the shield. Yes. Or eat the shield, but shoot it. <laughs> Eating is very slow. Um, and then touch him, and then you'll get a super bullet. Or if you eat a pal uh, eat one of the shield, you get a super bullet. And then shoot it at him by pressing the button. He's coming for you. Shoot away that shield right down the center. I have I'm trouble getting this. This is a super, super clever shooter. There's multiple things happening at once, 
there's that slow zombie bullet going for you. So go touch him. Touch him? Now you've got the super bullet. Now don't be close to it. What do I do? It can kill you too. Get kind of near him. Okay, now press the button and get out of the way. Oh! <laughs> no, out of the way. No, I was trying to, but... Don't be a cartoon character. I was trying to, but it... it, it uh, I but, went I went diagonally instead of up, but mm. that's okay. So you can do it right away. Touch him, shoot it. No, don't be near it. You'll not get oh, out of the way. Oh, sorry. I thought... I, you made me... Oh. Try to go backwards. Like, what am I doing? Oh, get that the stupid thing out of the way. The middle, you're yeah. safe from that zombie bullet. Oh, from the zombie bullet? Only the zombie bullet. Okay. Yeah. It's been a while since I played this. And because of all these factors going at once, it's such a... And you can't shoot while you're in the middle either. And um, that stuff in the middle of the screen that uh, barrier, that is the actual code of the game being displayed on the screen. She doesn't appreciate that fact. <laughs> I'm trying to not die here. It's been a while since I played this. Did you see the new Yars Revenge game coming out? Yars Recharged. Um, I s oh, God. Did it? Yeah, the Yars Recharged looked actually pretty decent. Um, I'm not a big fan of the... What is it called? Yars... Um, where you go around in the circle, it kind of completely changes the, um, oh, so oh, close. So close. The dynamics of the game, because you can loop around the screen. Yars Revenge, Yars, what is it called? Yars. Oh, God. Got rid of the bullet. Yeah. Zombie bullet. Yeah! yeah! Woo! Finally! And first full screen explosion in a game. Nice. As well. Yard's Return. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Yard's Return. Now this one is very different because you have to shoot away the ever rotating um, shield. Pulsing. Um, color on the enemy is amazing. The movement of your character is spot on. And full screen play field to move around in as well. You can go anywhere on the screen. Just super, super clever. And the number of colors down the center as well. Like everything about this game is magnificent. I don't know why I have such a hard time shooting. I'm, I'm directing my shots somehow. Released April 21st, 1982, CX 2655. Do I have to get all of it? No, no, no. You just have to shoot them. Get extra points if you shoot him while he's flying. Ugh. Kill him. Get it. Get it. Yay! Yay! Good ending. Next one is Space Cavern. Oh, it's so tight. Ah! Oh, that kind of looks like it works. Yep. Okay. Uh, this one, you shoot the things in the sky oh. and avoid sorry, their sorry. shots like normal. Uh, you have to press up and down oh to shoot God. the things on your level. What am I doing? I'm shooting up or...? Shoot the guys above you. How? Oh, by shooting okay. up. And then press up and down to shoot the guys to the left and right of you. Oh my God! That's pretty unfair. Yeah. Up, please. Up. What is going on? You have to press up on the button? No. Just the button? Just the button. That's weird. What is going on? You have, to, you have to press up and down to shoot left and right. Do I hold the button? 
Yeah, that's it. You hold the button. Um, so this is released May 13th, 1982 by Apollo, made by Dan Oliver, also known as Space Canyon. Another Apollo gem. Oh my god. Lots of bullets raining down. It's hard to figure out where the bullet's gonna go. Very cool, though. Yeah, lots of colors. Um, I like the fact that they, uh, explode into some sort of me meteorite coming down. I don't know how to get it to shoot. Up and down. To shoot. Do I have to hit up and down? So you're doing it right I'm now. I'm going up. Yep. I'm hitting up. Yep. It, now but... press down. There. Oh, down for... Yeah, up and down for left and right. So it matters which... What the hell? This is super weird. It's just up and down. It's a very strange control scheme. It's a very strange control scheme. I don't know why they just didn't press left and make it left and right. So I'm hitting up and I'm hitting down? Yeah, so you shoot left and right. And then up how do you down. shoot up? You press up and shoot. Right? Or you press just the button. Just the button. Oh my god. Without moving? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> It's it's not the greatest control scheme. The control scheme that. makes no sense at all. Yeah, it makes no sense. It should have just been the button and left and right and up. Like that's Well, it. up should be shooting up. Yeah. Right? Like you should shoot up. You up should shoot or shoot the, up. You should shoot in the direction. And you're then pointing. you should shoot in the direction you're pointing. Point the damn joystick, right? You can play this. It's a terrible game. <laughs> it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. You can't get in. Um, it's weird. <laughs> you can't get in on them because they're constantly shooting. Like, yeah. look how much they're shooting. You have to like just edge in when they're not shooting. And then and then hit the button. Hey. It it goes against what your brain wants you to do, which is. Yeah, you just stop and press the button to shoot. It. It is the opposite of what you think you should be doing. Well, you have no guys coming in from the sides yet. Lucky me. I know. Well... Maybe they only come when you don't shoot. So you don't capture those guys or anything. They just fall. I don't think so. I think you die if you... Well, try. I don't think you can. No. You just they just go in, into the background. Great uh, enemy design. And especially your character it has a shadow. That's the first shadow we've seen, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Can't shoot them. Can't collect them. They don't hurt you. It's just for decoration. Maybe I can go to the right and left. Nope. Can't do anything there. So why is nothing coming out from the sides? I bet because I'm shooting. There. Yeah, because I've been killing the creatures up top. Oh. Ah! Ah. Oh, they started mm. to fight. Not my full legs. It's hard when they are mm. still. It's just not the way the controls should be for shooting. Oh, no. It it's just makes no sense. <laughs> it's like, whatever you're used to playing, it's... Uh, next one is Defender. Uh, arcade classic. Shoot all the things. Uh, rescue the guys after they get uh, captured. Oh, gosh. And then return them to the ground after you shoot the ship. Don't shoot them. What am I shooting? What am Every, I picking everything. up? Everything. Everything. But, like, who am I picking up? Um, when you hear there's a noise, there'd be like a funky noise. That means one of the spaceships has captured a human. There. It's on the radar. Go to the left. All the way to the left. Keep ah, going. Ah. Keep going. Got him halfway up the screen. Shoot the ship. Don't shoot the guy. Now capture the guy. Catch him. Ah! Oh, oh, he fell to his death. 
fell okay. to his death. Uh, I get it. <laughs> yeah, so there's the game. Okay, you have to look at the screen. Yeah, I look at the radar. And this is the first game with radar in it. Mm. Um, very, very clever. It's got... Ah. Oh, he's very close to the ground. Oh, There's, yeah. It's very... Um, oh, oh. Ah. Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> it uh, has momentum. It does. It's very interesting controls on this game. I played this... A lot? Uh, I tried to play it a lot. I yeah. was very bad at this game on the Atari. Um, played other versions of it. Uh, on the show we have, yeah. So this is released uh, June 3rd, 1982 by Atari. Uh, CX 2609 by Bob, Pol Bob Polero, also known as Def uh, Earth Attack. Licensed from Williams Electronics. The arcade version has even more awkward, awkward controls. Yeah, aren't they all buttons? What the hell? In the arcade? And there's like... Uh, there's also... I think this, oh, this button is also used on the second controller for like a big bomb. I'll, I'll help you out if you get in trouble. I think it's the... How do you trigger the bombs? I think it's like down on the button, or you hold the button? No, I can't remember. Oh, maybe there's a joystick button up and down like five buttons. Maybe it's a direction. Weird. Weird. Oh, he's going into space. Oh, oh he's being my probed. God. It's being probed. It's very hard. I did. No, go ahead. It's fun. It is hard, though. <laughs> it's not an easy one. I think we played other versions that yes. are a little easier. Yes. Because you're so floaty. And the uh, the bullet is really cool looking, like the lasers from your ship. Yeah, I like it. I like the thick kind of. They sacrifice your um, ship to show the laser. Yes, yes. But you it's do worth it. Blink out of existence. Oh my god! I think everything died. Mm -hmm. I think this is like hell level. All the all the guys turn into demons and go straight for you. Uh, oh no! Let's start over. Atari Twenty Six Hundred dude says played this game heaps back in the day. It was a popular arcade game. Very very popular. Activate smart bombs by going into the city and shooting. Oh okay, thank you. I was trying to remember how to do that. Oh, oh, captured. Oh, I tried to rescue Very you, dude. Very hard, yeah. I'm sorry. Very hard to get them. Level one. Wrap around. Ah! And they kind of follow you. The, um... Like, when you turn around, they turn around with you. It's mm. kind of weird. They don't follow the cityscape. Oh. I think they can fault on their own if they're low enough. Like, that guy didn't die. Oh, I see. Because you gotta get him no, right away? There's yeah. just no chance to... Yeah. Pick him up. To pick him up. Defender 2 Stargate is better, though. So it is. It is much better. And people have yeah. hacked Defender 2 to be back into Defender... This Defender. All right. Next. Shopper Command by Activision. I have a lot of these on cartridge. I was pretty amazed, actually. Will it work? No. no. You must have more than one version of that, too. <laughs> Shopper Command? No, just no? one of each yeah. Activision. I didn't bother because I was like, no, I got one. So I need another one. True. I mean, in the box, don't you have extras of things or? Uh, in the bins in the bedroom? Yeah. Uh, some, but oh, okay. usually I just bought one. I have stacks and stacks of games. Chopper Command, June sixth, nineteen eighty-two, released by Activision by Bob Whitehead, AX015, also known as P 
Pyramid War and Spy vs. Spy? I don't know. So you want to protect your convoy. Oh, that's my convoy at the bottom. Yep. I thought I was trying. I, I had to... By shooting everything. Oh, God. And running into them. Not a good thing to do when you're in it. So, similar to Defender. Do I have to go with the convoy or no? I, I'm just, just scrolling shoot. and shooting. Like, I think Activision went, yeah, we're going to make Defender. Because you think those are the people at the bottom. It's got a radar. Oof. Yeah. At the bottom instead of the top. You've got lasers. Some of the Activision games were like their answer to blah, right? A lot of them were original ones. Oof. First uh, Activision Sunset. Oh, first? I believe so. There were definitely some Sunset games previous. But not Activision. Are you sure? Oh, uh, maybe Barnstorming had one? I think, I think, did well, no, actually, no. I don't think it did. I think this is the first Sunset, Activision Sunset. From my memory, it's better just to shoot, choose left or right, and shoot flying at things. Sticking around is not good. Uh, yes, yeah. I remember that hint when I was going for my patch in this one. And they're like, just fly. Just fly left or right and don't turn around. <gasps> don't run into oh, things. Oh, I made level two. Did I? By that was the last thing. sacrificing yourself. <laughs> ah! Get out of my... <laughs> But <laughs> oh, too fast. And you can kind of see what's coming up and where they are by the radar. Oh, oh. those bombs. Okay. Reset for fun. me, please. So fun. Just the reset? Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's how I played this kid. Yep. Oh, and you can constantly shoot. Yeah, you can. You can just hold it. Still not always easy. They're they're very thin planes that you have to hit too. Very. They're not. They, they require a bit of skill to hit them. One more left. Two more left. Mm. And I think the patch score is fairly low in this because mm. I'm not great at this game yet. I got the patch. I believe I got the patch. Mm -hmm. Remember you did you play yeah. it? Mm -hmm. I think you did. I'm pretty sure I did too. Oh my god. Not playing like this I didn't. Mm -hmm. Let's turn around. There's a distinct garbage smell outside today. Mm-hmm. It's really terrible. Like, like burning garbage burning. in Now it's um, burning. What? Now it smells like burning garbage. Does it? Before it was just garbage. <laughs> Is it worse now? Because it smelled bad before. Um, it smelled like, um, I don't know, dumpster, like dumpster. Like, I don't know what that smell was. It's possible someone put down fertilizer or something too. No, it's dumpster. Oh, that was terrible dumpster smell. smell. I don't know what's worse, burning garbage or dumpster smell. Oh, They're both terrible smells. I'm not sure where that's coming from. I just smell pot right now, so. Oh, okay. Now it's warped into pot. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely a pot smell. I don't think that's the dumpster smell from earlier. No. no. No, no, so. no, no, definitely not. Yeah. All right. Chopper Command, very good game. Not great at it. Next one is Lockjaw. We're going to be playing Shark Attack version of it. Mm -hmm. Both the same game. Cartridge, excellent. Oh, it's so tight. It's Pac-Man, except you're a diver. And there's only one shark. Um... Lockjaw by Apollo, AP2005. This is made by Steve Stringfellow. Later released by Apollo as Shark Attack with some subtle differences. Yeah, the walls are a bit of a problem in this. <laughs> oh my goodness. You, you seemingly have like a big blue box around you too. Yes, you do. Which is very odd. You know, as far as Pac-Man clones go, not the worst. It's cool, cool it's looking really a, maze. I wouldn't really call it a Pac-Man clone because I'm stuck. Wow. All right. Yeah, you don't constantly move like Pac-Man. 
but it is a maze with dots. Ah, I There's can't no... move. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Oh, get that away was from very the edges. close. I know the edges are the worst. Deadly. The yeah, scene at the top is very nice. Very nice. It's a boat and an island and two trees on it and a sun and clouds and a uh, pink sunset. It's actually really good. Get down there. Get down Wait. there before he comes. Oh, oh no. I got to go somewhere. Uh, what's going on? What do you got to do? Get to the center? Ah, drop off your points. Ah. Okay. I, I guess you can do that earlier. Any, any, at any point. I thought you had to do all of it. Interesting. Shark attack. Oh, it disappeared. Mm -hmm. Old janky. Little janky. Little janky. Oof. I bet the shark gets faster and faster. Yeah. yeah. Not much point. I guess if you're going by, might as well. I mean, it, it seems like it's luck of the draw where the shark comes out. And yes. if you're stuck in a maze, you're stuck in a maze, like... He does go back and forth, so now he's going to come off to the left-hand side, which is very dangerous for you. Oh, no! No, he doesn't go it's back random. and forth. It's random. Completely random. random where he's coming from. What side he's coming from, and where he's coming from top and bottom. Would have been a good two-player versus. Yeah, for points. It does show a second ah. player points on there. Ah. Oh my god. You got stuck. stuck there last time too. It's very sticky walls. Sticky walls. Ah! Let's see if there's ah. a player. Because it, it does, does look show. like there is. Oh, not simultaneous. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. You can't fool me. This is a D make of Subnautica. Oh, I don't know Subnautica. Is that a 2600 game? I don't know if that warpiness is intentional, but it kind of looks cool, like you're going through water. Yeah, uh, that warpiness might be intentional, yeah. or just kind of like a happy byproduct of oh, whatever issues they're having. Ah, oh, you're Right into me. It is luck of the draw. Oh, my turn. Am I faster than you? You look faster than me. You're flying, you're... Well, you're not getting as caught as I was, so... Uh, still getting caught. Why am I faster than you? Mm -hmm. On the same game. Maybe I was just moving more carefully. Mm, maybe. You do seem to be faster. One more. Oh my god. The oh, shark's know. also moving faster. Oh, your turn. No. Oh, it is. What? Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> well, that's not very fair. Why am I faster? That's so strange. You're, no. You're still getting caught, but. Yeah. Can I try you? Yep. Let's see what's going on here. No, you are. You're flying Way through. <laughs> That's bizarre. Okay, I thought that was just me. Oh, Subnautica is a recent game. Survival underwater game. Oh, that one. I did. I know that one. You have to. Um, oh my god, that's weird. Collect things and build up your little base, and there's little fishies that can hurt you. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. Okay. Uh, next one's racquetball. Back to the sports. I don't have racquetball. I probably saw it in the bin and went. Mm, nah. <laughs> I'm missing some math games too, so I'm probably like, yeah, math, nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, load it up, racquetball. Oh, there was there. No, I looked at the difficulty switches. Ooh, 3D racquetball. Wow. Ooh, can there be two player? Maybe. Let's try two. Oh. Crazy music. Touch hands. Good game. Yep, two player. Nice. Oh, this is super Did weird. Did I miss it? I missed it. Did I? It's your, your serve, I think. Nope. How do I serve? Fun? It might be yours. Yeah, it's yours. Fuse. 
Oh, where'd it go? <laughs> Do you have to hit it? Let me try. Oh, it is, it is me. <laughs> Not sure what's going on. The characters are cool. The 3D perspective is is crazy. Oh, okay. Oh, I hit it. It's your turn. I don't know who's hitting what. I don't know who went first. I don't know who went second. I'm just like running into the ball. I don't I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> this this what is what it's like in real life. <laughs> Another terrible Old Apollo style. game. <laughs> yeah, oh, Apollo made by Ed Salvo and Byron Parks. It took two people to make this game. It's called also called Hilly Ball. Or High Life Ball. Mm. Which is a crazy game. High Life. Here's nope. Maybe it wasn't. It's hard to tell where the ball is. Even it with... appears to be reflecting off the walls. That's a problem as well. Well, it, it's not. That's not what it's doing. But it's like. It's to show you where it is. I guess so. In relation to the floor. I, I don't know, but and I don't know who's supposed to hit it next. Yeah, neither do I. It's like just bouncing around. You're winning. Somehow. Well, you are. You're you're actually in intercepting the ball, but I don't even know where the ball is. <laughs> I, I, did that not work? Do it I have to be behind like the line? Oh, maybe. No, I'm still losing. I don't understand. Am I supposed to be on the other side? I don't. I don't play racquetball. Neither do I. And you're winning. Do you know what what's going on? Anyone no. in the chat? I I'm just trying to intercept the ball, and I'm not even sure if I'm doing that. Not bad visually. I thought it was going to be a straight up pong rip off. No, yeah. it's, visually it's really really creative. I'm just going to stand. There you go. You hit the ball. No, it's your turn. I can't do it. But it's always my turn. Oh. No, I lost again. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't know how you're getting points. I don't know Are either. you serving? Um, for a bit I was, but it's your serve now. I'm, I'm failing my serves, maybe. Is that you? Try it. What am I supposed to be doing? Okay. Maybe it's mine? Yep, there. it's mine. It's hard to tell whose turn it is. Oh, we've got a volley. Oh. We actually hit it. Oh my goodness. And then where did the ball go? Do I have to hit it behind the line? Not sure. Anyone? <laughs> Looks like an e real I, 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 game I haven't of gotten the same... I haven't gotten a point in, and your points keep going up. The walls are usually mirrors. Oh, really? Oh, we're actually hitting it. I still lost. Oh. I don't I don't understand this game. It's okay. I'm frustrated with it. How do you have 20 points? I Are don't you know. hitting it? Uh, once Are in you a while. hitting the button? I am, but I'm not sure if that's actually doing it. <laughs> I don't know if it's doing it either. Next one, Star Master by Activision. One is my to get the patch pile. In real racquetball, you can only let the ball touch the floor once, but it can bounce off the walls. Oh. So you have to intercept it before it hits the ground, but then. Okay, that would make sense. Okay. Oh, you played this. Well, then you have to be here. Oh, yeah, I. I, I this is a complex game, so. I can tell me what I need to do. So you just switch that one. This one? The right difficulty switch? Yeah, but keep it on this. I remember this game. It's very complex. Yes, it is. Well, not complex, just hard. It is hard. 
Oh, it's hard. It is complex because you have to jump between, warp between levels. Yeah, you have to warp all over the place. And then there's refuel. strategy as to what level you go to. Or yes. What, what group you go to. Pretty, pretty neat game. It's incredible. It's like a big, huge, I think he, no, okay, no, oh, not yet. Still red. And we're, no, still more. Hmm. Green, switch back. So you have to warp to where these dots are, because those are the enemies. Yeah. And then you shoot the enemies in that location. Yep. And your energy is at the bottom. And if it gets too depleted, you have to go with fuel. You have to fuel up, but you don't want to do that because you use energy and time. Yeah. And you have to protect your ships because those guys will come and attack those ships. And you lose points if they attack your ships too. You have to get a certain number of points to get the patch. Okay, switch. Yep. But those bases, oh, those ships. Like stellar track, but all fast and shooty and actually good. <laughs> this is like actually really good. And you can move around properly. The other one was just crazy. <laughs> okay, switch. Yes, Star Master, one of the best games on the system. I agree. It's really good. It, it's got quite a complex play, like, way we to can. play it, which is pretty amazing. It is. Yeah. And there's strategy of which guys you have to go after first yeah. to be able to uh, not use up. Okay, switch. And the last enemies. And I win in the five minutes. I'm on track. Still have enough energy to do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Easy. And they haven't destroyed any of my bases yet, either. This might even be good enough to get a patch on this level. One more guy. Nineteen twenty-one. Probably not a good enough to get a patch. Really good game. Okay, well, good job. go to uh, the next level. Still got a minute. Flip? Yep. Difficulty? Right difficulty? Uh, no. Uh, game select. Uh, yeah. Do it. What? Uh, reset now to start the game. Now switch over to flip to the man to map. Right difficulty? Yep. And there's so many. But I guess I better defend that guy. Kitties! Shitty. This one you do have to refuel. There's just too many. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they're faster. Oh, my God. Oh! Can you take your hand off of that? It's flipping accidentally. It, it accidentally flipped to the map and I warped. Oh, sorry. And it's flipping again. Are you... I'm not touching it. No, uh, it must be... Oh, my God, I'm getting killed. Can you flip back? Okay, we're done. That's okay. Next one is Lost Luggage, which I don't have on cartridge. Actually, I might, but it's on in a box or something. Mm. These are only the loose carts that I'm looking at. Oh, that was so tight. Load up lost luggage. Made by Apollo, June 13th, 1982, AP2004. Made by three people, Larry Miner, Ernie Runyon, and Ed Salvo. So I don't know how to play this game, but I believe you have to Make sure your luggage is good. Pick up luggage or organize luggage or <laughs> there's two of you. 
plane's taking off and landing, which is cool. Oh, we have to catch luggage. Okay. Someone said a ka kaboom clone. Not quite. Oh. Kaboom oh, yeah, with joystick. Actually. Yeah. Luggage is flying out all over the place. Pretty much how the airports are nowadays. Just I was going to say, everyone I know who's flown has uh, been dealing with uh, losing, luggage. Their, <laughs> losing their luggage. So. Yeah, very kaboom like. You can move up and down. Avoid though. the black suitcase. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, good. I haven't good. seen one yet, but I guess that's in higher levels. That is the... I like the planes up above. Very nice touch. Oh. Ah, no! Oh, some new anger. Oh, no! Oh, my God! All oh, the... underwear came out! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious! That's awesome! Oh, my God! Ah! Ah! That's so hard! <laughs> it looks like someone lost a baby. <laughs> Putting babies in luggage. That's not allowed. Oh, that's funny. Well, that's awesome. The plane lands and then the luggage comes out. Oh, God. Oh, it's pretty hard. Oh, that is so funny. It's poor baggage handlers. Yeah, well, yeah. You know why they throw them now. Oh, is it sand? Oh, yeah. starting over? Nope. Sand, I think. My turn. Yeah. Cute. Very cute. Very cute. I especially love it when you uh, drop a case. Plane's landing. Actually, guy moves pretty fast. Mm hmm What is it? I don't think I've seen a black suitcase yet. They must be in higher oh, they're levels. They're hungry. They're so hungry. Oh, it's only 20 after. But. Probably want to feed them. Yeah. Want to do that right now? I can. Who's hungry? Hungry? Come on. It's their 11 o'clock feeding time. Oh, now it's getting hectic. Oh my god, now it's getting crazy. I don't think I'll be able to avoid the black one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Unlike Kaboom, you can kind of do it out of order. Some of the suitcases a little bit. There's a bit more leeway. Oh my god. Good luck. Ah, sorry everyone. They're throwing the luggage at me too hard. Oof, just got it. Not a bad Kaboom clone. A good, um, oh my god, really? Unlike Kaboom, you can't just whip across the screen. It's a joystick, even though he's very fast. Like, how are you getting stuck something on both sides of the screen at the same time? How is that even possible? I mean, you want to stay at the top because there's less room to move. Oh my god. I haven't seen a black suitcase. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh. A thousand. A thousand points. Oh, 19 seconds left. Play another quick game. No, I won't even be able to get it in. Let's just take a look at what's next. A Gangster Alley by Spectravision. I do not have this one either. I do have a couple SpectreVision games. Um, I don't have Planet Patrol. I do have Planet Patrol, but I obviously did not get it out. So we're going to Gangster Alley, July 1st, 1982 by SpectreVision. Green people with green faces. Okay, we've got that guy looks friendly. That guy looks bad. Bad? Is that a friendly guy? Nope. They all bad? Oh, smiley face is definitely not bad. Unless he turns to a life of crime. No. Nope. I have to shoot that guy at the top too? Oh my god. Somebody didn't do the right amount of lines. And it's going insane. Yes, yes, ha 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 ha. 
Okay. Is that the end of the game? Wow. Did I shoot that guy? Oh, I do. Constantly? No. Oh, just when he has a bottle? Okay. Not a really good looking game. That's for sure. Oh, made it. The inspiration for the dog and duck hunt. Yeah. Uh -huh -huh. Probably somebody saw this because it's a shooting game. Oh, missed that guy. So you don't have to get all of them. Because some of them come up and don't make it to the top and then disappear. Ugh. You do have limited bullets. Oh, he's gonna throw a bottle at me. There we go. Very good graphics. Um, oh. Gameplay? Mm, pretty good for what it is. I don't think you could make it any better with a joystick. Trackball would be better for this type of game. But don't you throw that at me. Excellent. Thank you so much. Ooh, what are we playing? Gangster Alley. Oh, inspiration for the dog and duck hunt. Low. Yeah, because when you die, it uh, full screen guy laughs at you. What the hell just... Oh, I have to shoot to see things. But now the lights are on. Interesting. Oh, I can't see my crosshairs. Because they're green. That does add complication. So you just have to line up above or below and then move up. Oh, lights went out again. Doesn't take much to turn back on, though. I think it's Ooh, when depends. someone gets to the top. Oh, really? Yeah, I think oh, okay. so. That guy's at the top there if you don't shoot oh, that's him. a good guy. Oh, it's a good guy? Yeah, he's smiling. Oh, you don't... Uh, just... Made Bad it. guys always have frowns, right? That's how um, it works. Or just not They're smileys. Oh, my God. It's gonna, there we go. Too late. Now it's too much. Oh, my God. Too much stuff is happening now. Distracted by the bottle. Dude at the top. Oh, sorry. I think that was bad. <laughs> oh, so many bad guys coming up at once. Gonna die. Hmm. Pretty decent game, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm impressed. Oh, wasting bullets. The bullets at the bottom look really good. Mm -hmm. um, the characters are pretty good. Mm. Some of them look a bit cartoonish. And the green faces are a bit strange. But... Mm -hmm. Make them distinctive. You're shooting zombies. Yeah. Zombies with guns. Zombies. They're like monster gangsters. Yes. Don't want them to look too, too oh, God. human. <laughs> I'm out of bullets. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Nice. See? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Next one is Planet Patrol. I know I have this on cartridge. I just didn't Can't find, find it. it. Yeah. Um, Planet Patrol, July 1st, 1982 by Spectra Vision. Don't know who made it. The last one was also called Task Force or Mafia. Ooh. Got some shadows happening. Avoid the bullets, shoot the ships. Nice scrolling at the top. Some clouds going by. We've got a shadow. Well, I guess you're going higher in the air. That doesn't make sense with the... Or did I have to get that guy for fuel or something? I think so you have to I avoid doing? these guys. What am I doing? I think I've only played this once. I don't know if that was good or not. <laughs> I think that was bad. 
Do I have to go down? I don't know what that was. Is it the end? Did I die? Can you go left and right? No. Nope. You have to shoot the three silos. Oh, oh okay. okay. That makes sense. Okay. I guess this is game over. Good to know. So you have limited time to shoot the three silos at the end. Oh, okay. Shadow doesn't really add much to it, and the perspective doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Oh, do you have to shoot that guy or collect him? Or do nothing? Know. Seems important. Nice. I don't know. Bet you I have to know. avoid those. Oh. oh, so close. And dead. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. I thought I was like dead, dead. Yep, two ships left. I guess the silos just kill you. Yeah, you gotta Dead get the, sh the silos or your mission is not, yeah, not completed. Try and shoot that guy. Or do I collect him? Yep. Collect. I was thinking that might be... These come speeding by. Nice. And you're landing, I bet. Why? Yep. For sure you're landing. Press button. <laughs> Did she need an ambulance? Nope, that was fuel. Okay. Mm. Lord Monka says. Cool. Oh, it's nighttime. Shoot the black ship, I believe. Oh. Shoot it or collect it, because I collected it and it made a good noise. I would love to stay up longer to watch, but it's way past my bedtime. Good night, all. Good night, Dan. Oh my God. Dark shooter. Dark shooter. I don't have too many, too much experience with dark shooters, but uh, not as bad as a dark maze. As long as you keep shooting, you can light it up. Oh, there you go. It's, it's got coming. the moon up. Oh, that's cool. I survived that. Pretty, pretty cool shooter. Oh, oh, I think I am supposed to collect that. Yeah, you are. Am Lord I? Monka says yes. Oh. Yeah, that shadow at the bottom does not make any sense whatsoever. Oh, God. Nice. I think it's automatic. As long as you land on it. Yeah. Can I play yeah, next? Yeah, you go ahead. You go like ahead. One minute left. Shooter. Yeah. I like Pretty shooters. cool. Yeah. What was this called? Space Patrol. Space Patrol. The 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 light to dark and the dark shooting. That that's, that was something interesting. That's innovative. You have to shoot and then you have to memorize the last place things were so you can dodge the bullets. Yes. Oh. That's terrible. Getting faster. The bullets don't seem to be coming from the ships. They're independent. No, no, of the ships. They, they're just in different lanes, really. Oh, they are. There's no bullet in a ship plane. Is no. there? No. No. They're That's in different good. lanes. Oh, Ooh. That was close. Because that would use up the two sprites. Okay. <laughs> it's only two sprites. I really have to. Oh! Make it to the towers. No, I want to play this more. Next time, we'll have to play it. Okay. All right. Uh, next one is Demons to Diamonds, and it's our only paddle game. Oh, oh. no, there's a paddle option game later. Okay. I do have the cartridge for this. Hold this these. was a very cool game. That's a good game. Yep, very cool. Yeah. Shoot the red ones, shoot the diamonds. Nope, don't shoot those. Shoot the red ones and the diamonds. The red ones? Not those. There you go. And avoid the skull shooting you. Just the red ones. It's the red ones and the diamonds. So the 
shoot the other ones, they turn into skulls, and you will be very upset. I mean, there are skulls anyway, but you don't want to need more of them. Yay! Flashy, flashy. Not much to it, but, you know... Simple? It's simple. It's a paddle game. It's kind of a cool paddle game. Where there's vertical <gasps> shooting. Oh no! Just have to avoid... Avoid it shooting oh. you. I believe there's a two-player game where I'm at the top. We'll have to play oh, that next. It's very hard. Too many. Not much but diamonds. Oh no, maybe oh, no. Now there's more skulls. Oh, it went away. Doo dee doo dee. Oh, you got your wings back on the, your ship. Extra help. I don't know, they disappeared. So many red guys. Your turn! No, let's do two players. Oh, nice. This, oh, Oop. are you shooting me? Oh, I shoot the pink ones. You shoot the red ones. I see. That's And clever. then we both shoot the diamonds. Yes. Oh. Is that me? Oh, yep. Uh, is. Between us, hey, I'm shooting the pink ones. Yay. Ah! Oh. Pink, 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 shoot pink, 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 pink. I keep memorizing that because I was watching you play. A little bit easier with two because we can. Oh, they're right against each other. Because we can both clear the screen, right? Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, oops, that was accidental. Luckily, we can't shoot each other. Oh, oh no! Come on, pink guys. Come on, we're on this side. Yay, he's gone. Yay! Yay! Simultaneous two player option, yes! Oh, don't shoot the pink guys. Oh, uh, stop shooting the pink guys. <laughs> no, I want to play more. <laughs> Fun. Great two-player paddle game. Really cool. You're shooting different things and keeping the screen clear. Way better two-player than one. Yeah. Woot! Awesome. That really is fun. Game. Really, really fun. Uh, Demons to Diamonds, July 4th, 1982, by Alan J. Murphy, Nick Sandy, Malawed Turner. Next game is Math Grand Prix. Edutainment game. Math? Running your car into numbers or something. Math Grand Prix. Oh, that's right at the top. Not Grand Prix, Grand Prix. Grand Prix. Ooh. Looks like two player, but two or three spaces. Okay. Oh, 
What? I don't know. Pick it. Press the button. Four minus four equals zero. So we move two spaces. Oh, and then it's your turn? No, Compies goes automatically. It's July 4th, 1982 by Atari CX2658 by Suki Lee. Also known as Math Game. One minus zero. That's some tough stuff. Now, why would you not want to move three spaces? I, don't know. I think you'd always want to move three spaces. I guess there's some things that you want to avoid, like the axes, maybe? Oh, he pushes you off? Oh, so you can crash into the other person. Oh. You have to revive yourself? Maybe. Through math skills. It's one of those games where uh, you have to kind of hold down the button because it only reads it at certain times. Single digit math. Haha. Nice. <laughs> squish. So you get an extra turn when you squish him. What? Oh, can you move over? I could do a one and then move over. Ah. So it is two digits. Okay. This one I definitely did not see back in the day. <laughs> I don't know how big of a hit it was when there's all these great games out at this point. But, you know. Par parents. Oh, is that an extra turn? For them? Oh no, it's you. You landed on them. Did you get an extra turn for landing on the X? The X? No, I don't think so. I thought you moved, landed on the X, and then got an extra turn. Is that not true? Oh, maybe it is. Maybe I did. Oh, yeah. Okay, those do things. That makes sense. Oh, now the spaces make more sense. Because you have to plan it out. Yeah, it's, it's like, oh, where do I want to land? You're winning. Oh, keep doing three spaces. Two. Oh, one. Ooh, get the tricky. <laughs> Very tricky. Oh. What? You picked two. I did pick two. I yeah, you moved I was... two. Oh, okay. It's hard to tell. Yeah. Where, which are, what the spaces are. That's cute. Yeah, because there's some strategy to it. The input is very slow. Oh, though. it's pretty terrible. <laughs> oh, extra turn. Three spaces. One, two, three, three to three. win. Zero minus zero. I don't know. I, I don't know. Two, three. Oh, did you not? Oh, maybe you have to go past that? Three. I want to see this to the end. No, oh, it's going off. Race over! Yay! <laughs> Just finished the race That's in five cute. minutes. Yeah, it's not cute terrible enough. for a math game. Nope. Next one, Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. What? Yes. Shoot. The Adats. Actual first music that sounds decent. That's amazing. Okay, you have to shoot the little flashing dots. Oh, it's the Defender, adats. basically. Mm, kind of. There's only really slow walking. So you can shoot them a lot, or you can watch for the flashing dot and shoot Where's the flashing the fresh dot. Where's the flashing dot? It's not there yet. It doesn't come up all the time. Oh! Oh, there it is. Nice! You took him down. And then go to the next one. They shoot fast. There you go. Nice. Gotta keep going up and down, not run away. That's your defense on this. There it is. Up, 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 up. Oh, I missed it. 
Oh. Remember, don't run away. Up and I'm down. not trying to. Ah! He bounces me off. I'm not running away. Oh. <laughs> he hits me and he bounces oh, me off. Okay. And they're all progressing to the right, so you want to keep them from going too getting far. to you, getting to your base. Oh my god. Oh. Brutal. Oh, you move so fast. Oh my god. Hello, Herbo Lucifer. Welcome to the show. We're doing the countdown of absolutely every single Atari 2600 game ever released. The classic ones. Not Homer. Thank you for following as well. We're up to oh mid mid 1982. Oh, terrible. July 1982. Get that out of that. Uh, this was released July 8th. 1982, this is the first Parker Brothers game. They hit it out of the park with a uh, Star Wars license. Uh, this is made by Rex Bradford and Sam Gelman. The Gelman. Oh. Yeah, I can shoot backwards too. Ugh, and then... Oh, oh they're so it. hard to hit those. They're like right under their heads. Oh. Yeah, you probably want to stay. Um, far get, away from... <laughs> I've never played this before. Far, it's pretty far cool. away from them so you don't get shot. Land on the low areas to revitalize. Oh, I didn't Really? Of course, yeah. I didn't have the manuals when I... Uh, when you played games. it? I had no manuals. you played this before. I have. I. It's a pretty, pretty amazing game. Come on, come on. Oh my god, come on. How do you land? On the lower levels? Like there? Oh, there we go. Thank you. Come on. Oh, Star Wars! <laughs> I think it's the first game that has a decent tune. Like, it was in tune. Oh my God. It sounded decent, yeah, yeah, at the beginning. It sounded like Star Wars. So Empire came out in oh. 80, and Jedi 83. So this would have been just in between before Jedi came out. Mmm. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I was playing your game. That's right. I think Atari 2600's Empire Strikes Back is better than the A8's version. Really? Do you agree? I don't know. Have you played? I have not played the Atari 8-bit 8, uh, 8 version. No. Oh. We'll play E.T. eventually. Eventually. It's not today. No. When did E.T. come out? We did play Howard Scott Warshaw's Yard's Revenge. Yes. But we didn't play E.T. yet. Um, 83? 83? Oh, okay. Say. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Takes a lot of shots to take them yeah. down, though. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Oh. Yeah, it's hard to hit those. There, I destroyed them with shots. Sheer, I did that with one of mine, too. Firepower. It's not a bad game, it's a little samey samey. Yeah. I think there's um, higher levels where there there's things levels. flying around. Yeah, like this is just level one, right? Yeah. Uh, we're not going to get to higher levels in eight seconds, unfortunately. No. I will destroy that. Oh! I have infinite power! I can't remember how you get that. Just randomly. Ah, that's it. All right. Next. Next one is we're only playing five minutes each because there's over 450 games. It's Atlantis by Magic. This one is very good graphics, very detailed graphics. Look at those. Oh graphics. wow! Because everything's staggered. So you have three shots upward left and right so start shooting text there you go everything's super psychedelic colors like all the magic games and then when they get to the bottom they start destroying your buildings so you don't want them let get to the bottom level um Erbo Lucifer, oh Erebo God. Lucifer says Atari 2600 was my first game console, but I had a clone from original, but enjoyable too. Oh 
god. Oh no, you only have your side shots now. That's not good. No, those are not the fun ones. Oh my god. Oh. <gasps> oh no! Totally not a missile command clone. <laughs> totally not. I mean... Oh, stressful. This is a stressful Missile command game. Is, is quite different. Like, you don't get to aim this one, but you get the different shots. Like, you don't have a, a, an X on the screen. Now, there is an Atlantis 2 that came out, which is pretty much just this game. Um, and has different speed, scoring, and font, and it's worth a ton of money. Oh, really? Yeah. So you can tell it, you can tell the difference by the font at the bottom. So it has a different font than this. Long episode tonight, yeah. Oh there yeah, there's is. still a lot to go, isn't there? Um, not really. Oh good. <laughs> it's only six more. Oh, the side ones are super, like I just, Down here. useless. Oh, you're cute. Yeah, the side ones are a lot harder to aim. Oh, it's just. Still going, which is pretty good. Uh, I don't know. Oh no, he's scanning! And uh, destroyed. It. Just got that one back. Oh, destroyed more! You've got one little blinky thing left. No! Oh no! Oh, oh they left! Scared. Yeah, we couldn't take any They anymore. left. That was cool! Similar concept, slightly different controls. Yes. Great. Mm. <sighs> Reba Lucifer. Card didn't arrive to Spain. If it arrived, one was imported and very expensive. Yeah, ah. I can see that. I can see that. Hence why the Brazilians got clones as well. Yes. Very expensive to yeah. import. Psychedelic and magic colors. I love them. Very yeah, prideful. Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Rainbow ships. Oh, the speeder. No. And you shoot the speeder, everything explodes mm -hmm. on the screen, which is nice. Mm -hmm. it's a nice bonus. This is so hard to get, so you might as well get a bonus for it. Oh no. It's definitely easier to shoot from the middle. It is. It's, it's much very easier hard to, aim. to coordinate. Cooling down a little bit now. It is oh God, finally no, getting no, a bit no. better. Ah! Don't think he got anything. Oh, it's a slow fighter. Oh no, no, no! Oh no! Why does he all. They always go for the middle first. Of course. Of course. Can I get it back? Yeah, okay. you do. When you. when you, Which is good because it would just get impossible fast. It would. So pretty. The yeah. sprites are gorgeous. The magic was all about changing the color every line. <laughs> oh no. No. I don't know if there's a patch for this one. No. The magic sc patch scores are yeah. insane. Yeah, very hard. Like, I haven't got any close to even one of them. Uh, next one, Cosmic Arc. Nice. We know this one. Oh, I like Cosmic Arc. This is the one we were going for a patch because it was kind of seemingly attainable, but it really isn't. <laughs> it is hard. Oh. oh, sorry. Forgot. I love this level just for this level. Oh, it's stressful. Like, that could have been a game on its own. Then you go what and pick up the do? little aliens. Press button. Pick them up. All the way, press a button, hold the button, there you go. Uh, so this one was put out July 18th, 1982 by Imagic by Rod, Rob Fulop, also called Black Hole. Rob Fulop also made Demon Attack, which we played before today. Um, and uh, Atlantis was made by Dennis Koble, who also made Trick Shot. The pool game that we made before, that we played before. Oh, are we going for one? Yeah. 
Lord Monk, enough time. Lord Monk says, this is my first Imagic game. Played it as a kid back in the day. A good first Imagic game to get. Most Imagic games are, like, very decent. Like, most of them are not, like, bad games. So it's, it's pretty much like, um, buying a random Activision game. It's, it's gonna be, something about it's gonna be decent. Gato uh, Zerma says, I understand in Spain the ZX Spectrum ruled, also known as Algomas. Really? ZX Spectrum was big in Spain? I mean, it's much bigger in Europe than North America. I don't much. think it really yeah. had any impact on North America at all. I mean, in the US, they can't even pronounce it. They call it the ZX Spectrum. <laughs> I didn't hear about the ZX Spectrum when I no, was young. No, it was more Commodore 60... 60 Commodore 64. Get her! Yeah, hiding. Oh my goodness, this guy. Or the Tandy TRS-80 or something. Because we had a lot of radio shacks. Better get back to your ship. It's going to explode. You're going to be too late. Ah, I know. I wasn't going to go back without getting him. <laughs> wasn't going to happen. I think we can get to like, I could get to about 75% or 80% of the patch oh, score so in this hard. one. Yeah. But the last bit is impossible. The, oh no, I, I let him go. No, no, get back here. It's not it's that like this, chasing a cat. It's not that this part is hard. It's the other screen that just gets so fast. You can't react fast enough. <gasps> they go yeah. boom and you're dead. Yeah, Magic is almost on par with Activision. Next, third-party uh, devs. Yeah, I would say it's between, like, Magic and Parker Brothers. But I think Magic just beats out Parker Brothers for, the, for their games, if I had to pick one. Activision first, for sure. They had much, much bigger hits. Stressful. This game's so stressful. It is stressful. <laughs> Oh, I got him, and then I let him go. Yeah. Can I get the other one? Nice. Nope, it's gonna kill you. Ah! Gotta keep that beat. Gotta keep the the zapper. No, beat. I know. I oh, you're distracting me. Blaming me. I am. You're snapping your finger in my face. <laughs> I'm like, need to pay attention to what's going on in this game. Lord Monka says, yeah, Parker Brothers did good arcade ports where Mar uh, Magic did good original games. That's true. Oh, man, this is stressful. <laughs> it's, it's like a... Oh, come you on! You got it. I heard it. I heard it. I just didn't hit it hard enough. It's like um. Oh, God. Uh... Doggies! Get those doggies. Rescue those doggies. Dead. No! It's when it comes to the bottom, because usually you're pretty safe. What? Yeah. <laughs> Thomas Yench was trying to help us beat this game and get a patch score, but it just... It just gets too crazy. This part is the part. It's it's all um, not instinctual. What am I trying to say? It's it's reactions. Yeah. It's Fast all Fast reactions. It's at the bottom. No. Oh. It's very hard to pay attention to that. Next one is the first Coleco game. Get in there. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. We're Ooh. playing Donkey Kong. <gasps> You've got to play this one. On the Atari. Look at that Donkey Kong. It looks like a gigantic gingerbread man at the top of the screen there. Made by Gary Kitchen. Very nice. Our yeah. friend Gary Kitchen. Mm. And th those look like cookies. Are you sure that's not the cookie monster? Yeah, it's rolling cookies. It's a cookie monster. He's made of gingerbread this time. I like this version of it. I yeah. mean, I didn't have anything else. But I, I enjoyed playing this one. It's pretty cool. It's fine. It's missing a level. It's a bit funky. Is it? It's a bit weird. But it's got angled... Um, nice. Angled girders, which is good. Mm. That was close. Nice. 
I need to sit here because they don't come down the ladders. <laughs> Not in this version. Seal that hammer's only good for one. Just can't climb up the ladders. I think this is only 4K. Pretty good for 4K. It's a lot packed in. Like, you don't usually get multiple screens yeah. for 4K. Oh, you don't have to go back up to the top? No, not in that. Mm. Not in that level. In the real game, he falls here down. Comes the cookies. All the girders. Here come the cookies. Mmm, cookies. Mmm, gingerbread cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. Mm, we haven't had cookies in a long time. Made <laughs> cookies in a long time. And we haven't made them in a, in a while. I mean, it's too hot to make cookies. We make ice we cream. We make ice cream now. Oh, Which I love our ice cream maker. Yeah. It's missing the best level. Yeah, to be honest, yeah. Do you have to jump over those? Yeah. Oh, you can walk over them, I think. But I like... So you can walk over them. And now we wait for our hammer to expire. Because you can't do a thing with it. <laughs> Come on. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire guys, I think. Oh, they're fire guys? Cute. Is there only two levels in this? I thought there was three. Is this no, it? The, yeah, there's only two, because there's like a pie level and also the... Does it get harder? Vertical. Well, the barrels are coming down a little faster. And they're going down the ladders faster. Ooh, that was dangerous. Maybe. There's only two levels in this. I mean, it's only 4K, so... Just, they move faster? Yeah, more erratic. And faster. Forget that stupid thing. Oh. First step. The music's okay. Yeah, the music sounds good. In the moving, uh, the sound where you move, it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's just two levels, that's all. That's the problem. Just do the same two levels over and over. Oh, you gotcha. just popped my foot. I think I have to do that hammer. How much time? Uh, 30 seconds. And if I go over this, I can't go back. I have to wait. Oh. Uh... Was there an improved homebrew of this, like, Pac-Man? Yes. yes. Yes, there is. Um, it's not complete, though. The 2600. It's called DK2600. Is there a complete version? I can't remember. There's one that's, like, a little messed up. I do feel like he's in a red onesie, Mario. <laughs> he is. He's, he's got, got some blue boots. Yeah, in a red onesie. Next one is Frogger! Ooh, classic. Brothers. Classic. We will play both Froggers. Both? There's yeah, two there's versions? Yeah, there's a Supercharger version, mm -hmm. Frogger, which is a lot better. Dun, 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 dun. Wait for the two oh, to do? end. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Squish. Sensitive. Ding, 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 ding. Trey Guy says, Mario is a talented carpenter. I wish he did not switch to plumbery for such venal reasons. Venal? 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 Weird. Um, Lord oh Monkey says, Oh man, the supercharger frogger is amazing. It is. The graphics are better. Uh, and uh oh, I'm down. Dead. Oh. Uh, the graphics are better, the music is better. Oh, he didn't get the white frog. Am I supposed to? Yeah, that's your friend. That's your lady frog. 
This is terrible. That's your friend. Get points. Fly. Those are hard to get. It's more like mm, coincidence. Yeah. Coincidence if you get them. It's like, oh, you get them, you don't get them. It's a very, very competent version of Frogger. It's fine. It has everything you need in it. Mm. I'm pretty sure it has It has the snake. It has the uh, alligator heads at the top. Which is, you know, pretty good. It has... Uh, Seems to work pretty well. has a bit of flickering. Which um, I'm guessing they have to do because of the distance apart of the cars. Whoa! Just in time. Vinal is a French word meaning because of the lust for money. Oh! I checked online, they said it exists in English, probably 18th century English. Yeah, I've never heard of that English word. Have you heard of that French word? I mean, that's a pretty... Ooh, is it gonna disappear? Nope, it was coming back. Oh, too early! Oh. Hit the side. Your last little frog. Little froggies. I think anybody who got this frogger and bought this one would be very happy. Oh, God. My turn! Your turn! Cute! Oh, Good it's song. couch compliant. Excellent. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Every second pass of the log is a white frog. Mm-hmm. Oh, going too fast. Right into it, right into the truck. Smoosh. I'll get the next pass of the log. White frog. I want that fly. I want that fly. Not gonna get that fly. Not gonna get the fly. Ooh, can I get this? Nope. And what, what, what were you trying to get? That left hand um, spot. It's the hardest spot to get. It is, yeah. So if you can to... get it. Get it when you can. Get it, yeah. That's fair enough. Oh, oh, oh. No. <laughs> Wasting my frogs. Yeah, on... killing off your froggies. I think there's a, an easy level where mm. you can set it so you wrap around. Lord Monkus so says, uh, first time I played Frogger was Froggy for the C64. Oh, I think that's me too. <laughs> Froggy? Froggy. Come uh, on. How do you... I don't think you do. What's the timing on that? Maybe it's the one that disappears you have to be on? I don't know. I was on both of them. Just going back and forth on them. They just Ooh, up, up. up. No, no, you have to get right to the end and go up, up. I, I bet you. There you go. That's crazy for level one. That is crazy. I paid fifty dollars for this game back in the day, which is now worth a thousand dollars. No, worth five. <laughs> so, well, the Parker Brothers are. A no, bit I mean, more money. I mean the the value of fifty dollars oh. from back then. Oh yeah, it's a lot. Think of all the gas. <laughs> <laughs> the gas, the one day of gas you can put in the car. Or the gas you could have bought back then. Oh, I want to finish. No, oh, well, you're eating into whatever's next. What is next? That's fine. I need to finish. Oh. Hey, hey, don't I'm distract me while I'm finishing. I finished. Okay. okay, what's next? Astroblast! Oh, we're down to the last three! That's part three of 1982? 81? 82. Yeah, I remember my grandmother buying River Raid for me for $50. Oh, River Raid's a good one to get. That's worth the money. Yeah. Come on, Astro Blast. Nope. <laughs> One more try. <laughs> nope. You fail, Astro Blast. Oh, stupid M Network cartridges. I hate you so much. You don't stack at all. Astro Blast? Astro Blast. So, Astro Blast is July 24th, 1982 by M Network. It has a paddle option, which we will try because I've never played this with paddles. 
Oh my goodness. I didn't know there was a paddle option. Oh my goodness. It's one of your fr friend's favorite games. On oh, the Intellivision. Yes, yeah. Uh, conversion of Intellivision, Astro Smash. Astro Smash. I don't know if it's a licensed one, but it's pretty much Astro Smash. Paddles are easier. Ah, yes. Well, I've got the paddles on standby. Get them ready. I've never played it with paddles. Is it just automatic? You just plug in the paddles and it auto senses and you play away? It's getting to... cooler in here now. It is. I can feel cool air coming, cool breeze. Oof. Oh. Okay, let's put in the paddles. Okay. Yeah, just works, Lord Monkus says. Excellent. Oh, can you select it? There we go. Let's try with the paddles. Oh. Oh. Let's get our bearings here. Oh, yeah, definitely. Go so much faster with the paddles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, feels good, feels good. Oh, yeah. Some good stuff. You lose points for missing things, right? I don't know, I don't think so. I think you just- Yep, it went down. Oh, it did go down. Very did unique it do that? play that mechanic. Because that wasn't there when I was playing, those white things. Um, I don't know. The white thing that went rrr, rrr. Hmm. Maybe I was playing a different uh, version? Mm. That's weird. Level one, or I thought option so. one. Or did I just not get a good enough score? That it... it Maybe you have to get up to a certain score to yeah, see but it. I shot enough of them. You may have missed a lot, too. Oh, because it keeps going down. Yeah. Good point, good point. First Atari game with that play mechanic. I mean, it's an television game first, but... It's definitely better with the paddle, because shooting oh, and moving side to side, it's very hard to get everything because you can absolute position yourself. You can't get all of them, but you have to get the majority of them so your score doesn't get worse. Ah! Very cool with the paddle. Mm -hmm. So good to know that you can play the paddle uh, version of this, which is unique to the Atari because the Intellivision did not have a paddle. Oh my God. Level two? Oh, and it's funny that you can go up a level and then go back down a level again. Yeah. If you go below whatever it is that I a thousand, oh. get a lot of lives in this. Oh my god. That's good. Oh, so fast. Oh my god. Damn it. Oh. What did it? The problem with the paddle too is that you can oh, we're done. slam slam into it yeah like really quick space space attack we'll see if that one works two one space attack do you need uh, yes control Sorry, something like that oh it worked all right. Go for it. Don't know this game at all. Neither do I. I don't think I've ever played this game. Oh, maybe I have. What am it I seems doing? reminiscent. I don't know. Am I plugged in? I don't appear to be doing anything. No, you seem to be switching from purple to white. No, I don't appear to... Oh, what's this? I don't understand. Nothing's happening. I mean, something's happening. <laughs> Things are happening. Maybe it's the second joystick that does stuff. Ooh, this one. <laughs> this one. I never knew how to play this game, says Atari 2600. I did play this at some point, but I can't remember how to. 
Are you controlling anything? Okay, stop. Stop it. Thank you. So I can't tell if I'm doing it or you're doing it. Nothing does anything. Is it controlled by the no. paddle or something? I don't have any notes that is controlled by a paddle. No. Hmm. Let me look it up really quick. Yeah, because uh, we're losing badly. Cat, are you fluffing up the uh, controllers? Atari? When your interceptors reach their target, you do something to go to first per person shooty. Select an alien fleet, push the down joystick down repeatedly until the selected alien fleet turns purple. So it is. Okay. Okay. Um, to dispatch a squadron, hold the red button down by moving the joystick up, left, or right position. There you go. Uh, to take a squadron into pat battle, move joystick up, left, or right position without pressing the left. Okay, press up without the button. Without the button? Press up without the button. Press to the right without the button. Oh! Oh, God! Okay. Gotcha. I, I'm, I so can you, barely control this right now. So you intercept. Oh, I see. And then you fight. It's kind of like the last game. Yeah, very just a different screen for um, dispatching your. So you want to you want to intercept. So you hit up once you've intercepted. Uh, oh God, yeah, you pick one hard. by pre pressing up, left, or right, this or down. This is not an easy. So not easy to shoot. I have to anticipate yeah. where they'll be. Yes. Oh. Your bullets take time to travel. Oof. And they change course too. Pretty nice display with the colors. Thank you, Telstone Meow. Meow. Blast the not Cylons! <laughs> oh, you got two and one there, I think. There's one left. Come on. Oh, oh, come on. So close. There Yay. we go. What is going on? So button to dispatch. Hold the button down. Nope, you're, you're changing its direction. What is going on? Hold the button and dispatch. Yep. Now there we go. Okay. Now press to the right to intercept. Because you were attacking, but you kept changing the direction of your attacking, and it kept oh, I see. I moving kept to the other one, and then it was like, Sorry, oh, I thought I was deploying one. new interceptors. You only have two on the screen. You can deploy two of them. I did last time. Mm -hmm. One must have been used up, maybe. Interesting game. Mmm, -hmm. the debris from an explosion can knock out others. Ah. Nice. Under our last oh, that's of the interesting. Night. It sounds a little more complex. Needs a little bit of practice, but that's like that's super pretty neat. Challenge baseball. Ooh, your turn. Looks very. Uh, oh, we're playing two player. It's two player. Right? Well, baseball. They wouldn't omit two player, True. would they? That last one was made by Hal Finney and Bruce Patterson. This one is also M Network, released July twenty fourth, nineteen eighty two, by David Rolfe, also known as Baseball. So did you pitch? Are you moving? Oh, nope, I am pitching. Okay, so let's go back to there. Do I do anything? No, I just run. Yeah. Do I keep going? No. He just automatically runs then. Um, you I might be able swing. to direct him. Oh, that was bad. 
you can. So how are you? You just hit shooting the like picking the yeah, direction. It's just a direction. Bunt. Oh no. Foul ball. Foul ball. This is actually not a bad baseball game. Ugh. Foul again. Foul ball. Ugh. Foul ball. Just keep fouling. This is like when I used to play softball. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Out. I was extremely good at fouling balls. Ugh. <laughs> Nothing has changed. Neat. Yeah, you can... Shoot second, first. I oh. oh, made it back to first. There might be a control for stealing. Oh. Um, you can try. No, not sure what that would be. My turn to bat. No, right to first. You have to press to the right in the button. What? To to uh, control. Press to the right. Uh, right in the button for first, up in the button to second. Right in the button left for first. Left in the button to third, so okay. in up, the direction of the person. Second, third, okay. And back catcher down, and no direction in the button for the pitcher. What the hell? And same for throwing. No, no direction in the button for the pitcher. No, no direction and the button for the pitcher, okay. So just think of the different quadrants. Okay. Have you played this before? Long time ago. I just figure out games really quickly. Does look decent. Willing to bet with some time invested would be really fun. Yep, yeah, it's actually really decent. Oh, foul ball. And you can also... How do I... How do I... Oh, can I do anything with him? I think... I'm not sure how you get to the outfielder. Maybe it's a double up on the button? There you go, yep. Double up. Oh, this is not going to go very well. Double up and button. Okay. So, like, up is second base. Yeah. Double up is outfield. I can't really... No, up. Ugh, terrible. Also, I don't know how you curve. Just move the joystick after you um, after you pitch. You can make it go fast, slow, left, right. Mm. Really great it animation. Is. Oh, I hit that? Oh my god. Come on! Like, I can't even. Oh, finally. There's like no flicker. It's really good. There we go. Pitch it again! Is that a strike? I don't think so. That's it? Banner! Is it a ball? Not sure which, uh, what's what there. Two and one. Good stuff. That's a really good baseball game. It is a good baseball game. There's lots of great controls there. Mm -hmm. Um, so that is it for tonight. That is part one of 1982 mm -hmm. of Atari 2600 games. Uh, not sure when the next one will be. I have to get it ready. So we'll have to see. Um, we are broadcasting on Friday. Let me just show the schedule. I think I've put some more stuff in the schedule by now. Hey, Thunkus. So what is everybody's favorite games of the ones we Ooh. play tonight? Here's the list for you to check out while I get things ready. Hmm. 
Were there any games that surprised you? Uh, yes, there were a number of games that surprised me that I hadn't played before or I hadn't played enough. I'd have to take a look at the list again, though. So I marathon, yeah. really, I mean, I knew some of these games. I don't think I've played many of these games on the Atari. Um, I, I, I thought uh, Lost Luggage was really <laughs> quite like Very cool. surprising. And then when you don't get the luggage, all the all the garments fly out of them, and like that's just Very cute. just so cute. Well, um, thanks for watching, twenty six hundred. Glad you were able to make it. Jeez. How many games were there today? Thirty eight. Thirty eight. Thirty seven. Something like that. Thirty seven games. Thirty seven in total. That's hmm. a lot. What would I? To say I like the most. That's hard. Cosmic Arc's an amazing game. Yes. Actually, Atlantis I'd never played. Beautiful. Gorgeous. That game's gorgeous. All the magic games are um, so colorful. That's up there, I think. I think that's that's one of my favorites. I mean, I, I haven't played many of these games before. Demon Attack's pretty nice too, but Atlantis didn't know anything about that game. I thought it was really beautifully done. 325 here. Oh my goodness. You're working at 325. Oh my goodness. My goodness. Working hard. Um, obviously, Yars Revenge. Um, That's, yeah. That was great. Um, mm. Star Master's pretty good as well. Um, Demons to Diamonds, a good two player game. That surprised me. Yeah, actually. surprising. It, simple but fun. Yeah. Yep. Um, Super Challenge Baseball, very good baseball game. Mm. Demon Attack, really good. I love that shooter. I can tell you love that game. It's a little samey samey after a while because it's yeah. just like you shoot three guys and you go yeah, to the next Yeah, three level. more guys come. But they split apart and they shoot in different ways and yeah. Yeah. Um, what was the one where there's paratroopers coming down? Oh, that one was good. That was an early one. Um, Command, oh, Commando Raid. Robot Commando Raid. That's what it was. That was good. That was that was very that decent. That was very really fun. Very yeah. nice looking. That was a fun game. Um, no love for racquetball. Still don't know how that was played. He kept getting score. I had no idea. I was getting very frustrated. I I'm like, no I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Ones that surprised me. Racquetball yeah. was very nice looking. Don't know how to play it. Oh. Gangster Alley was surprising. Yeah. Very cool looking. Lost Luggage was a surprise as well. Mm. Very cool. I like Lost Luggage. Yeah. Um, Trick Shot was a surprise. That could I, look, That looks like if you put enough time in, that would be a very cool game. So, you know, a lot of these games, they're sort of repetitive shooter games. They don't interest me as much. I could play that Trick Shot game until I got them all perfect. Like, I would yes. I would just start playing that and be like, oh, I can do better. And it, it's kind of one of those games that I could see really enjoying and just, just playing. Yes. Like, just playing, you know. That's, um, it's awesome. Frogger very straightforward it's, it's a great conversion yeah not as good as the star pass supercharger but that's a very good one mm. um what else the rest uh, there were a lot of good games today it was a good pack today yeah yeah not too much of the shovelware i thought a lot of those games were pretty good yeah just the beginning there was three or four or five and the, yeah like man yeah kind of weird and yeah. not great yeah um, but yeah, good batch today. We'll see what part two brings And us. you can see the evolution of the colors and Activision's impact on on Oops. the sprites and the colors and all of that. Um, yes. Because things look a, a lot less blocky in the Activision games. You've got mm -hmm. all these beautifully co colored sprites. Especially in the magic, in magic games. The, the beautiful sunsets. Yeah. Like, just the Stepping color. Stepping up their game. This is a big boost. Ramp up, yeah. Huge in, in ramp the quality up of, of, from last year. Of yeah. the graphics, for sure. Um, so on yeah. Friday, we've got an exclusive work in progress update. Pretty much the final one of Penta slash Pango. Nice. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Jacks or Better, nice. which is a blackjack game. Mm -hmm. Really love. These are on the 7800. Really nice looking 7800 game, Jacks or Better. And Uzi the Goo Gaiden, uh, release candidate. That's pretty much done as well. Mm. So, uh, good lineup there. And we'll be doing an After Dark of Pressure Gauge that day. Mm. We won't be doing this. No? this on Friday because we already have an After Dark. Mm. And I know Uzi the Goo Gaiden is going to be a little bit long. Okay. Um, so we won't be doing that. Press, you know, it's nice to have a Friday off. 
Um, well, well it won't be because you'll have an after dark. So. Well, it's a short one. Yeah, it's true. very short. It's just true. one one game. Nice. Um, we'll probably do it on Saturday or Sunday. Uh, yeah. One of those. Also, Monday's a holiday in in uh, Canada here. Oh, I almost forgot about that. Yes. It so. Is. Might do two, might just do one on the, yeah. on the we'll long weekend. We'll get some in. And the nice thing is on we could do one on Monday during the day, too, which, which oh, some people might like. Yeah. 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 Actually, that would be really good. Yeah. yeah. Might be doing during the day. We'll see. We'll see. One of those days. Just mm -hmm. keep a watch on the schedule. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us. It was an, uh, a long show, but we got to get them done. Yeah. We have to September 11th to get through. <laughs> 450 We've games. Got about over 100 down. Yep. Now, about a hundred now, games. I think. Of games, yep. Um, next episode is going to be uh, part two of 1982. Yes. We have three parts to 1982. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us, Lord Monkus at Hard 2600, dude. Gato Zerma, uh, 2600, uh, Thunkist, Chalcedony Mao, Meow, Trey Guy, Trey Guy. Uh, Erebo. Erebo Lucifer, who joined us from Spain. Yes, thank you. Um, First time chatter. Dan ABC. Um, old Style. Yep. Yorgi's Castle. Yep. Metal Lunar 7. Rendered, Rendered Ghost. Ghost. I think that's the end of our scroll. That is it. Yes, thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. You, you missed. I hope you enjoyed watching all these games. We enjoy playing them, even if it's only yeah. for five minutes. It's really cool it to gives see you them a all. great idea of the game. No, don't do that. Don't do ding dings. <laughs> these cats need to go to bed. Um, yeah, it's five minutes is enough to know whether you like it or not. It's enough to show it a little, like show enough, enough of the gameplay. Yeah. Unless it's racquetball. And then you're like, I don't know what's what going on. What the F is going on with this game? Um, so if you missed any of this show or any of the other games, they're all on, up on YouTube. This yes. will be on YouTube tomorrow. Yeah. So uh, we'll see you soon. See yep. you on Friday. Right. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a great rest of the week.